Hey guys, uh, testing the audio out. How do I sound? I'll be on in just a sec. I totally forgot my crochet hook and stuff. <laughs> I'll be back in just a second, get started. All right. We're starting with the face today. I know, right? Hey, everybody. So uh, before I get going, I wanted to um, let you know. Well, I got an email this weekend from someone named Tom, who's probably watching right now in the live stream. Um, he is more of a lurker, so he doesn't really comment much and stuff like that. But he reached out to let me know how much... Um, these live streams meant to him and I don't it really hit it really hit hard and it meant a lot to me and um, I just wanted to start this live stream by saying thank you so much for watching thank you guys so much for joining me on these Sundays uh, they quickly became my favorite part of the week and it's nice to know that I'm not alone <laughs> That I'm not alone, not only on Sundays, but also in that feeling of having this little community and, and being able to hang out with everybody. And I don't know. It just really meant a lot. And I wanted to start this stream by letting you know that, that I really am thankful for you joining me and for, I'm just thankful for you. So thanks for watching. Uh, sorry for starting off on, on a, such a sappy note. Um... Yeah, so let's just let, I'll switch over to the hands. I'll switch over to the hands. Okay, well, hi Tom, by the way, if you're watching. Um, okay, so hi everybody. Today we are going to be making, ooh, gotta scoop my chair in there. Today we're gonna be making Yancey the Yeti. Um, the reason we're making the Yancey the Yeti, not only is it just perfect for the time you know, everything's getting a lot colder, at least it is here in San Francisco. And uh, I'm sure it's getting a lot colder wherever you're at as well. So Yancey the Yeti is just perfect for that situation. But also, this is one of Tom's favorite patterns, uh, and he let me know in that email. And it just, again, it just meant so much to me. Uh, it was such a well-worded email, and uh, I wanted to uh, tell him thank you by making this live stream. Yancey the Yeti, which also is one of my favorite patterns, so it works out. If you want to get the pattern, you can find it right here, clubcrochet.com slash yeti. Uh, also, giving you a heads... Oh, Tom! 
Thank you. There's Tom right there, super chatting. Tom, you're amazing. Dude, okay, you need... Hold on. I'm going to put something on screen for you in just a second. But, um, thank you, dude. That was really nice. Um, I lost track of where I was. <laughs> okay, so today we're making Yancey the Yeti. Uh, and... A couple, a little heads up, my neck is killing me. I, I don't know what I did this week, but I slept weird. Um, there's been pigeons outside my window. That sounds like a joke, but it's true, and they've been keeping me up. Uh, it's like the the Church of Perch doesn't want me to sleep tonight, or these nights. So just giving you a heads up, my neck does hurt, so I'm going to try to like chill out a little bit as I'm going. This is also going to be a pretty long live stream because we are making Yancey the Yeti, which is a pretty big pattern. Um, so bear with me. If you're not able to stick around, I totally get it, but we'll probably be around for a while. We might, I might need, oh my, Lizzie. Oh my God, Lizzie. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, what a start. I didn't even start crocheting yet. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, oh my gosh. You guys are tripping me up. I can't even start. You're going to make me cry. Um, okay. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. So we're making Yancey the Yeti today. Um, it's going to be a long one. My body hurts. I took an I took a ibuprofen before I even started, so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm gonna start by just putting stuff on screen for you guys because uh, every time someone super chats, we put something on screen for them. Now those were two massive super chats for me, so I am going to start with something big. Let's see. Well, I got oh here we go. Here we go. So this one. I got an idea. I got an idea. Let's see. There he is. So, ugh. for Tom, my favorite goblin goblin of all time. Oh my gosh, An Aquatic Luna. Jeez. Chill out, guys. <laughs> oh my god. We got a train going here. Okay, so for Tom, my favorite goblin, Shank. I've got a poem for him, and I'll, if you remind me, I'll read you that poem in just a second. For Lizzie, because that was the biggest support I've ever gotten on this stream. Oh my gosh, Lizzie. You're, thank you. You get the king. King Goblin. The first, uh, the first, um, Hobgoblin that I ever made. So, we'll put him right here. His, his crown's kind of falling off. I need to give him a fix. For, um, so, then we got, then we got Aquatic Luna. Aquatic Luna, we're just gonna have a little goblin army over here. We're gonna go with. Where is it? Here we go. Fleur. One of my favorite little goblins, Fleur. Oh my god, you guys! <laughs> we're gonna have a million things on screen before I even start. Okay, we got Fleur, the goblin. Oh my gosh. Um. After that, we got Kim. Kim gets. We need an orc. We need. We need an end orc to the screen here. Oh, where are the orcs? Oh, oh, oh! I got a good one. I got a good one. Hold on. Where's Titan? We want Titan. If you want to help support this channel, um, you can tell the way that people are doing it right now, supporting with super chats. Um, that is a great way to support the channel if you can. If you can't. No worries at all. Um, another great way to support the channel is with a Club Crochet membership, which gets you access to all the patterns on my website. Um, oh, here, here, here. Here we go. How about... Here we go. How about, there we go. We got our coffee snob. He's always got to join us, you know? Especially today. We're going to be making coffee. We're going to be drinking coffee, that's for sure. And then, I need that orc. Where's Titan? I can't find him. There's an orc in here named Titan that I, is really cool. But I don't know where he is. I'll have to find him later. 
Here, we'll add this goblin. Okay. So that was for Kim. And then this one's for Sasha. A little, a little cigar goblin. See? Yeah, see? So, we got a little army of goblins there in the background. Wait, he needs, he needs some more. Let's go like this. Okay, and obviously you can see, I, I'm just going to get going. I'm going to talk about the materials really quick and then get started. And then I'm talking about the giveaway thing because I need to get rocking and rolling now. Um, so we're going to start with um, the materials that you need. So in this pattern, you need the following materials. Now, you'll need one color uh, of cotton worsted weight yarn. I'm using uh, blue because I like my Yeti to have a blue face like he's really cold. And then you'll also need a furry yarn. This is buttercream from Joanne Fabrics. Um, I really like this yarn. So we're going to be using these two yarns. You'll need a crochet hook. I'm using a size G four millimeter crochet hook today. Um, it works perfectly for this cotton yarn. It's a little bit difficult with this uh, fuzzy yarn, but we're going to make it work. It'll be fine. You'll need a pair of scissors, obviously. Uh, some safety bead eyes. I'm using six millimeter safety bead eyes, which might seem small, but it's actually really good for the, the character. Uh, you'll need some pipe cleaners, which I'll need to go grab in a little bit uh, because I forgot them. And you'll need a darn needle. I like using crimp ten like this. Um, I don't have kits available for this, but I do have kits for a lot of other things. If you'd like to support this channel by purchasing kits, you are very welcome to do so. Um, and uh, and um, oh yes, and the giveaway. Okay, yeah. So we have something to. We have a giveaway today. So here on screen, you can see a little box, and boom you gotta guess what's in this box so there is a form it should be in the description below let me make sure that people are able to use it um, there we go guess what's in the box oh yes okay we already have one response great and great guess great guess okay so this is how this giveaway works, it, just like last week. If you guess what is in this box um, first, if you're the first one to guess what's in the box, you win the giveaway. Uh, I am not 100% sure what we're giving away yet. Let's go with, let's see, we did stickers last week. Um, I want to up the ante a little bit. So let's go with a bundle of your choice. So if you win uh, this kit, you actually, you can... I'll give you a bundle on the website. Any one of the bundles that you want, um, any any pattern, like we'll say like a group of five patterns. So if you want a bundle, that, that could already be a bundle, or if you want to like make your own little bundle of five patterns, you get your own bundle of five patterns if you guess what's in that box first. Now, you only get one shot, so do not miss your chance to blow this opportunity comes once in a lifetime you better and <laughs> and it is a pattern from the website again but I will give you a heads up this one is a lot trickier it is a lot trickier than the last one um, I will be giving hints throughout the live stream we have a long live stream so stay put you have to be the first one to get it right so if you get it right well someone got it right before you sorry they win um, you can guess by using the form that is in the um, that Mel Bell just put into the chat. Um, you can also find it um, in the description of this video. Uh, for this pattern, uh, Live Life is saying that they they can't get to the pattern. Uh, the problem is probably that this is a membership uh, pattern, so you need a membership to access the pattern, or you can purchase it. It's only three dollars right now, so it's it's not too bad. Um, you uh t -t 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 what else what else um as i don't screw up we're making the arms right now i'm just going ahead at schedule here because i know how this is this pattern's really long uh so i just kind of want to get going what else um yeah so it's a pattern from the club crochet library it's a little bit tricky but it's a good one it's a really good one i i think i think it's a nice little i don't know it's a fun one um, and I'll give you hints in a little bit. Also, I gotta keep, I gotta keep 
go in here with the um, so I don't forget what I am talking about. <laughs> I already forgot, didn't I? Didn't I? Didn't I? Didn't I? Oh, we. So so when I was talking earlier about how oh man, it's so cool that that we have this little community, um, we have this little group of friends and stuff, and so I want uh, I wanted to keep this community rock and rolling, so. I asked Melbell for her help, and we made a Discord channel. So we have a Discord channel now. Now it's just getting started. There's not really much going on there. Uh, I added a. Doo -doo -doo. Sorry, I'm adding it to the chat right now. So here is the Discord channel. I put it in the chat. Melbell, if you don't mind, could you please copy that and uh, paste it every now and then when I'm talking about it? So we have a, oh, dude, thank you, Tina. Tina, thank you very much. Um, okay, so what do we got? What do we got for Tina? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go with a, what's this? Oh, that's a fun one. That's a fun one. It's a surprising one. It's actually not a pattern. I don't have a pattern for this, but uh, this is one of the first pod people I ever met. Um, See it? Ash Ketchum. A, a kind of a rugged Ash Ketchum, I will be honest. I'm using a lot of splits for different parts because it is an early, early pattern, but it's kind of cool, I think. I don't know. So, this is for you, Tina. Thank you. Put them right there. Um, okay. So, uh, where was I? Where was I? I was making I was making my arms. I was talking about oh yes, we have a Discord channel now. And um I put a few different things in the Discord channel. Uh Discord by the way, if you don't know what it is, it's basically like a little chat room. Um so we have a little chat room with different types of um little pages in that chat room. So there's one for sharing things that you've crocheted, there's one for talking about games, there's there's a little part of the chat that's for ideas. So if you have an idea for something that you want me to add to the site or something that you want to add to the Discord channel, there's a little thing there. Um, I'll be in the Discord channel every now and then uh, checking in and, and just saying hi and stuff. Pro I'm going to try to probably pop in a couple times a day uh, just, just to hang out. But yeah, it'll just be a little place for us to hang out outside of these live streams and outside of... Uh, just life and just just be able to hang out in general So if you want to join that discord use the link that I posted in the comments uh, in the chat below uh, I'll put it in the description of this video uh, a little bit later as well and I think it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm really excited about just like chilling with you guys and uh, Having this community outside of just the live streams um, Yeah so that is something that's new. I don't have a whole bunch of new things to show you this week. I have a couple things that I crocheted, but I didn't go too crazy this week uh, just because the monthly kits are being shipped out next week. So I, I had a lot of work to do uh, when it came to those. All right, so now I am just finishing up the start of this hand. You can see how the hand kind of is showing there. See, it'll be like that, just like that. Pretty cute, pretty cute. Hey, Coffee Crochet. Hey, Stranger Danger. Um, okay, I'll give you a first little hint for this. Um, it is a pattern from the library. Mm -hmm. I have to be very careful with the hints because even the littlest hint could give away a lot for this pattern. Um... It fits in this box. There's a there's one hint. Um, I had to use this taller box to make it fit too. Um, what else? Tricky one. It's a trick. It's a tricky one to give hints for too. You know, because I don't want to give it away. Hmm. I don't want to give away so early. The how about how about um 
Ah, I don't know. I don't know what to. T I don't want to say to give to not give anything away. How about this? The color of the box can be used in the pattern. You can use this color to make whatever is inside the box. Now you'll need other colors as well, but this color also. Does that help? Maybe that helps. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you guys were saying something about Discord last week, so that's um, fandom random. That's one of the reasons why I made it, because uh, you guys were talking about it, and I just thought it was fun. The last time we made the box, uh, there was Yoda. Baby Yoda was in the box. Ooh, ooh, gotta scoot a little bit. Okay, and I need to chill. I need to chill. I need to not sit up so much or else my neck will explode. It'll explode. What else? Oh, I'm trying now. I'm trying to just think about hints for that box, but I can't. I can't think about it too much. Also, give things away. Ba -ba -ba -ba. How was your guys' week? How was your Thanksgiving? If you are in America, we just celebrated Thanksgiving last week on Thursday. Um, hopefully, everybody celebrated it relatively safely. We went. Um, we just hung out with Jules's parents, uh, who we all quarantined, and they they live across the bay so we just went over there and we had duck for thanksgiving which was shockingly good i've never had duck for um definitely not for thanksgiving dinner i think i have had it before but not for thanksgiving dinner um so it was it was a fun surprise and a cool way to like you know i just i won't forget this thanksgiving because well no first off because of the environment that we're in i'm not gonna forget that you know but also like, duck for Thanksgiving? That's a very unique meal for Thanksgiving. Oopsies, I'm sorry. I rattled the whole screen there. Uh, I thought it was like a very unique kind of dinner. Don't let your neck explode. I'll try not to, Coffee Crochet. I will attempt to not let my neck explode. It's not gonna explode. So, yeah, this week, a lot of this week was focused on trying to figure out what is going on for the monthly kits, which go out on later this this week. So if you are a Club Crochet Pro member, you will get this week a new kit mailed to your door with all the materials to make what we're making next month. Now, I had a really good idea this this week for what is going to be in this kit which we've already kind of discussed but we're making it a little bit different this time there you go i exploded my neck already um uh so my idea was we're gonna make a gift box so just like this well i forgot to tie it closed but here you can see the gift box and you're gonna be able to tie it closed i should have made one in preparation but it was a long day yesterday. So the idea is that you're going to make a gift box and you're going to be able to make something that goes in the gift box or goes outside the gift box. So you will get enough yarn to make um, the gift box and the ribbon and then additional yarn and safety eyes so that you can make something from the Club Crochet Library to put into the box. Or you can make a balloon. So you can make a, a floating box. Here's a little balloon. So you can see. How the box, you gotta use your imagination a little bit, but you see how the, the balloon would go in the box like that. So you, you can make up to this size balloon with whatever, with the materials that are in the box. So the idea is you can make a gift for a friend. That's, that's the, um, that's what I was thinking would be kind of fun there. Uh, okay, wait, one, two. Aha. I need to use a stitch marker. I'm gonna use a stitch marker after this round because I will lose track for sure if I do not do that. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, I just thought it was like such a fun idea. Um, the balloon pattern is going to be a pattern on um, Sir Pearl Gray's YouTube channel. So if you've checked out, if you've heard of Sir Pearl Gray before, we've done collaboration patterns in the past and um, we're doing another one. And this time it's for a floating gift from Animal Crossing. 
But I also wanted to give the option for people that didn't. Um, oh, I did this. I did it wrong. I did this round wrong. You got to be careful with this yarn because if you mess up, it's really hard to undo. So I have to be very careful. And it's really hard to see your stitches. So that's why I'm going to use a stitch marker after this round because I will lose track. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, the we're doing this collaboration pattern. Uh, I just thought, you know, maybe some people that are Club Crochet Pro members might not want to do uh, in Animal Crossing pattern. So I thought, oh, let's give people the option to do other, other things instead, you know. Oh man, I gotta pay more attention to this, to the chat here. Are we gonna make a coffee cup too? Yes. I, well, hopefully. It depends on how long it takes, but probably. Uh, coffee cups are not too tough to make as well. Um, Kylie asks, "Are how do we join the Discord? The Discord, uh, there should be a link that Melbell is tossing into the chat every now and then. I'm going to put it in the description of this video in a little bit as well. But you can just go to that link and um, you should be able to join it there as long as you have a Discord account. Um, oh, Nugget, thank you so much. Nugget says that they're learning how to crochet and I've been a great help. You're very welcome. Uh, I am I'm glad that I get to help spread the joy of crochet to other people. Uh, obviously, it's my favorite thing to do in the world, so I'm glad that some people agree with me. <laughs> Ooh, Tina thinks there's a zombie in there. Ho, 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 ho. Well, here's another hint for you. Um... Uh, it could be a finger puppet. It's not a finger puppet. What's in there is currently not a finger puppet, but you could make it into a finger puppet. Now, to be fair, that's not a great hint because almost all my patterns you could turn into a finger puppet. Even the answer the Yeti here could be turned into a finger puppet. It'd be a heavy finger puppet, but it could be a finger puppet technically. Now, this one would make a much better finger puppet than the answer the Yeti, but it does it does narrow it down a little bit. It does narrow it down a little bit. Um, are we going to be doing movie night near Christmas? Yeah, I'm going to be doing a movie night. I'm, I wanted to do it this week. I just didn't have the time to get it set up in time. So I'm going to probably do it next, uh, either next week or the week after. I'm not 100% sure just yet, uh, but I want to do a vote for that. So we're going to do some kind of Christmas movie. I'm going to do a vote between, um, I think one of the choices is going to be, uh, the Muppet Christmas movie because I love it and you guys brought it up last week and I thought it was such a good idea so that's going to be one of the votes um, maybe I'll do that in halftime show I'll get that set up so you guys can start voting on it now uh, I don't know what do you think about that you can, you can remind me too um, but yes I think we're going, going to be doing it either next week or the week after uh, and yeah, yeah, I wanted to do it this week. I just, I just didn't have the time to get it ready. Yes, the Yeti would have to be a thumb puppet for sure. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Emma thinks it is a Mario. It's a good question or a good, good guess. It is a good guess. Okay, ba, 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 ba. a Hanukkah movie stream. How many Hanukkah movies are there? Hello, hi, hi, Shafam, or Chuff, Chuffam, too. Hello. Yeah, the anatomical heart is pretty. Oh, that reminds me. Oh my gosh, I almost totally forgot. Hey, uh, I'm doing a Black Friday deal. Uh, right now on the website. Oh my God, I forgot to do stitch marker. My mind is everywhere today. We need to s get it together. Get it together with coffee. Um, whoop, 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 whoop. Um, 
Oh, the anatomical heart reminded me that there is a Black Friday deal right now on the website. Um, I decided to do it last moment on Friday, like at like 3 p.m. or something, I decided to do it. So uh, because of that, I decided to keep it going for a little bit longer than I normally would. So if you would like to, sorry, I need to do a count real quick because I am off. But if, you, if you'd like to check it out, go to clubcrochet.com slash Black Friday. There are a lot of deals. I did, uh, two, sorry, I got to count. One, two, three. Okay, good. We're, we're, we're doing fine. Um, if you'd like to check it out, you go to clubcrochet.com slash Black Friday. Uh, and I did 20% off of some kits. Not every kit, but a few kits on the website have 20% off. Uh, Forty percent off of all bundles. So if you want to uh, download any of the bundles I have, so there's like the Legend of Zelda bundle, the Goblinoids is a bundle, um, the Bumblebees are a bundle. They're all forty percent off, which is pretty significant on uh, some of them. One of the I think the Bumblebee bundle is like I think it's like five bucks, maybe even less than five bucks now. So it's it I legitimately think it's worth it. Um, Increase one, two, three, four, and then I think it's five. Slips if two. Okay, I see what I did. One, two. I'm shockingly think that I am on track here, even though I've been so distracted. And now we're getting a stitch marker. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Orange yarn? Yes, please. Oh no, I dropped it. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. It's con, uh, con. You know the word I'm trying to say. Contradictory color. It's a contrasting color. There's the word. We'll see you crochet around that. Um, how should I do that? Actually, yeah, it should just be a little bit. We'll put it in there. There we go. One and then two. Okay. Um, there was also one more thing on the. Oh yeah, if you order any kits uh, between now and tomorrow, uh, or between Friday and tomorrow, so you know if you order them now, you get a free sticker. Uh, so you can, you I'll randomly decide to choose one of these stickers to add to that kit. Um, these are also in the merch shop, which I'll talk more about the merch in just a second. Uh, but yes, if you order any kit today, uh, you will get a free sticker in your kit. I just thought it was kind of like a good addition as well to the Black Friday thing. I don't know. I just thought, oh shoot, I should do something for Black Friday. You know, everybody's been so supportive and helpful for me. It'd be nice to do a little bit of a, a fun discount kind of thing. So I think I did the two invisible, single crochet one, and then two, right, and then slips four. One, two. Man, I did this pattern recently, like a few months ago, but I forgot how detailed I went into the design of the arms. It's so cool. Look at how cool that arm looks. I should use this pattern for a lot more, like more giants and stuff. Um, Burb sticker, not yet, but soon. It uh, He has, it's almost done. They're almost ready. They'll probably be ready by next week. Uh, I still need to get them printed and stuff, so it'll be longer than next week, but they'll be ready to be printed and stuff next week. Uh, I just haven't had the time to put into uh, getting them ready as much as I really wanted to, you know? Um, can I hear them? Bah, bah. Oh, and materials, yarn. Oh, man, I am so scatterbrained today. I should have drank all that coffee before this live stream. <laughs> I mean, I'm having fun. I'm just... I can't keep my brain in one place. I can't keep my brain in one place. 
Gotta love Yancey though. Yancey keeps you keeps you grounded. Hey, Yancey here is um, actually based off of a the the original design for Yancey the Yeti was based off of a TV show. Um, well, kinda. See, in this show called Hilda, uh, there's like a longer title. I can't remember what it is, but it starts with Hilda. It's on Netflix. Uh, it might just be called Hilda. There are these giants in it that kind of look like Yancey here. And I love, I loved that show. It is so good. It's perfect for kids. It's perfect for adults. I love the show so much. You should check it out. Um, it's called Hilda. And, yep, here you go, Fandom Random. Fandom Random wanted to see the box close up. Uh, it's a great show, and I used kind of part of the design of that show for their giants uh, for Yancey here. Yancey. Yancey. There you go. Let's look at the, let's look at how many people have guessed so far. Wow, 28 people have already guessed. Let's see, let's see. How do I, how do I look at like what all the answers are though? Oh, here, here. Uh, ooh, a lot of people guessing burbs. Wow, some great guesses. Wow. Some people are, I'll tell you what, a few people are really close. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that was an evil laugh. That was a super evil laugh. And you'll know, you'll you'll understand why it's an evil laugh once I show you what's in that kit. Um Okay, wait. I'm on the last bit here. So we go single crochet one. And then we'll invisible decrease one. And then single crochet two. And slip stitch one. That's how I finish this up. All right, there we go. Yeah, so I have these pigeons outside. Oh my gosh, they are sitting outside of my window right now. Right? And every morning, starting at like 7 a.m. till 11, they just sit there and they coo to each other. Actually, I don't even think they coo to each other. I think just one is cooing at the other one. So it just goes like one going It's so freaking annoying. Oh my God, it keeps me up all night. So what I've been doing is I've just been uh, wearing uh, earplugs in. <laughs> I just... It can't reach. It can't reach the ER. Here we go. So I'm wearing earplugs that, and I went to bed with them, but then I didn't hear my alarm to wake up. <laughs> so I was like, ah, oh. I was like, ah. Oh. oh, speaking of merch, I forgot to mention, uh, we have t-shirts available now. I finally finished them. I got them on the website. So if you go on the website right now, there are three different t-shirts available. I'm going to be putting more as well. Um, all you have to do is go to click the link down below that says something merch. Um, here's one of them, a professional hooker shirt. Now I have the, the current ones on the website are regular professional hooker shirts, like just a regular t-shirt. Uh, this one is a baseball tee. And for some reason it wasn't adding to the website yesterday. So I'll have to try again today. So if you want to get one that looks like a more of a baseball tee like this, uh, just be patient. I'll try to get it up today. But if you want um, some other shirts, just like this into a regular t-shirt, this is a crazy soft t-shirt. Look at, let me see if I can get it on screen. It's like, they're all this soft. It's crazy soft. Um, I think my wardrobe is just going to become my own t-shirt. So I'm just going to keep buying because they're so soft and I just love them. So I got to make more. We're going to have a pigeon shirt soon too. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> Louis Fred, Aquatic Luna, that was good. Um, yeah, so the reason I know where they're at and stuff is because I went on, when I heard them cooing like that, I went on the roof 
uh, the, the access to the roof is actually right out this window. This is a window right here. And so I went out into the roof. I looked at them and I walk up to them and they both like see me and then fly to a building just like next door and they just sit there and, and they wait for me to leave. And then they come back and then they start cooing again. And it's like, why? I think I'm gonna get a, a fake owl and put it on the window or, or like on the on our side of the the buildings to scare them away or something. I don't know, but something needs to be done. <laughs> Um, okay, so one, two, three. I'll give the second hint at, um, let's go with like the one hour mark. So in 15 more minutes, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, we're making another arm now. Yes, we can go on our roof. Um, it's right here. And what's great is from the roof, we can watch the sunset on the beach. It's very, very nice. Uh, I sometimes I wish that I was my neighbor's house, which is right across the hall, because they can just watch the sunset from their window. Uh, you can't see. We live on the beach. Literally, there is nothing between us and the ocean. Um, there's no buildings in between us. So it's it's really nice. We, we get really good options to go out to the beach. And it's great. I love it. I love that option. It's It's very, very cool. I used to hate the beach when I first moved here. And then my roommate was like, uh, my old roommate, Sarah, was like, Lou, if you end up starting to enjoy the beach, you are going to be so upset <laughs> later on that you live right on the beach and you never went to the beach. I, you know, Nitty, I, you say, don't scare them. I got to. I got, I can't, I can't sleep. They need to stop cooing so much. I got to do something about it. I'm not going to kill them, but they need to do their cooing somewhere else. Somewhere where near a morning person, because I am not a morning person. <laughs> Don't I get scared of falling off the roof? No, we have a flat roof. So there's, um, it's not like, uh, it's not like angled like this. It's completely flat with edges on the outside. So I'm not really scared of uh, of falling off the roof. Where Emma asks, where can I get yarn like yours? Well, this first yarn that I'm using right here, this is Lily Sugar and Cream. You could probably find it pretty much anywhere. The other yarn, this one is a buttercream. I think it's called buttercream soft or something. They sell it at Joanne Fabrics. Uh, so that's where I get this one. Uh, but you can get a lot of different fuzzy yarns like this. I think good alpaca works really well. Another good option is to use mohair, which mohair is like a really skinny, um, fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy yarn. And your what you could do is you use that mohair held together with another color. So what I would probably do is use that mohair held together with a cotton of white, and it would it would pretty much mimic this pretty well. So that, that's the other option. I really like this yarn. Um, they they only have specific colors and they change their colors all the time. But one of their colors that they always keep is this white uh, mohair or white um, like fuzzy one. So it's like undyed, I think. But yeah, you can check it out. I think they probably sell it on their website if you want to just check it out on there. That's probably the easiest way to go, but I don't know. Our boy Louie needs, yeah, well, yeah, I need, I need both. I need sleep and coffee. And I need to be able to quit my job, On, <laughs> in all honesty. I need to, I need to figure it out because it's, it's getting more and more difficult to work a full-time job and do club crochet. And it's like, I'm not going to stop doing club crochet. So <laughs> I need to figure something out. I need to figure something out. Um, oh, someone asked me to give him a shout out. Who was that shout out? Oh, Nada. Hi, Nada. I saw that and I totally forgot. Sasha, yes, we do. I do ship merch to you to the UK. If you buy just stickers for me, by the way, um, if you go on the website and you're purchasing like just stickers, um, nothing else other than stickers, then 
Uh, usually I'm the one that ships that out myself because I have pretty much all the stickers here. I have copies of the stickers down south with my parents. Um, my brother is the one that puts together the, the kits. So if you order kits with like a kit with the sticker and stuff, then he'll be the one shipping it out. But other, if you're just ordering stickers alone, then I'm the one that ships it out. And if you do that, I usually write a little note that says, thank you so much. I usually draw a little picture and stuff. So if you want a little picture, little note included, then just buy stickers alone <laughs> and I'll be the one shipping you them. Uh, I, I don't know why, I just like to do it. Yeah. There's another sticker that says, um, actually I saw it here the other day. Here it is. Bell. There's this sticker too. I always forget to show this one. It's called Anyone Can Be a Hooker. Um, this is going to be a t-shirt also. I have to finish it for the t-shirts. But uh, it's cool because it's clear. It's like a clear sticker. You can put it onto like a screen or um, onto a window or something. And it will, you can, yeah. It's kind of cool. Do we ship to e anywhere? Yeah, it, like Israel too? Yes, we ship. I ship it uh, anywhere. Uh, I haven't been able to, I haven't had any moments where it was like, oh shoot, I can't ship there. So, yeah, it should be anywhere that you can get, that I can ship to, then I can ship my stuff to that. What? Lou, words, words. I'm having a hard time with words. <laughs> having a hard time with words. I've always had a hard time with words, though. It's going to be a problem one day. Well, it's going to be a problem today, but it'll also be a problem one day. <laughs> okay, so we, we're switching to the white now. We're on our second arm. As you can tell, this will definitely be a long live stream because I am only on my second arm and we're already 48 minutes into the stream. So as you can tell, it's probably going to be pretty a pretty significant pattern. I hope you guys are tuckered in. Um, maybe what we'll do later is I'll, I'll cut out and come back in and do the part two. Uh, maybe take like a 15 minute break. I don't know. I need to think about it. Uh, we'll see how bad my neck gets. If my neck really starts to hurt, then I might take a little break. Um, okay, yeah, so it's two rounds of just these single crochets here. What even is English? You know, that's a great question. Who knows? Who even knows? Coffee and crochet! Oh, dude, thank you! Coffee crochet, thank you. That is... What you have just said is exactly what I'm hoping will happen eventually one day. Uh, she said she did a super chat and said um, to help you be a full time hooker or a full time crocheter. Um, I truly appreciate that, dude. I that that. So first off, let me let me start by going with. Oh, here's a cool one. How about this one's pretty cool. This one's pretty cool. I don't know if it's totally your speed coffee and crochet. I know you're um, really into uh, like League of Legends and stuff, so this might not be. Well, I don't know. Actually, yeah, let's do let's do this guy. I changed it. I changed it because I know you're into video games a lot. So, uh, how about a little bokoblin? This is my own design for a bokoblin. Uh, yeah, he's got a little sword. <laughs> And his mouth is actually open, technically. I did this really weird thing. It was like a test where I, I crocheted it so that its mouth could be open just to see what it would work like, and I loved it. But then I never like continued on with it. I don't know why. So this is for you, Coffee Crochet. Also, check out her channel. She does some really cool stuff on her channel. Uh, she does these like really mini crochets, which are really impressive. It's very cool. Very cool. Thank you so much, though. I really appreciate that. Um, okay, so where was I? Where was I? Where was I? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't remember. I can't remember. Oh man, you totally, Sasha, you need to carry on playing Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild is like one of the best Nintendo games that's ever been made. Ever been made. Um, hopefully, the second one that they come out with will be pretty cool. Uh, I know they're still working on it. Um, yeah. You know, so I was doing, I, I watch on YouTube. Well, I watch a lot of YouTube, like a lot of YouTube. And one of the things that I watched on YouTube the other day was um, an explanation about orcs from Dungeons and Dragons. So it, 
This I watched this guy. He he, um, his name is Mister Rex R E X X. I th- I think there's two X's, and he does these things where he talks about like the lore of different, um, just different parts of of fantasy. So a lot of them is Dungeons and Dragons, and w- and the last one that he did on Dun- it's. It's like super nerdy, so heads up. You probably won't be into it if you're not like really into Dungeons and Dragons or just nerdy things in general. Um, which I always think is funny that I watch all these and I don't really play Dungeons and Dragons very much, um, just because I don't really have a, I don't have people to play it with. Um, but, but I really like the I like I used to play it a lot when I was a kid. I say a kid. I was an adult. I I I mean I was in I was just starting college, so. It, it wasn't that long ago. Well, I guess that was kind of a while ago now. But what I'm trying to say is that I watched this video that he came out with. And in it, he's talking about orcs and, like, the the explanation of, like, what are... What does the dungeon master's guide or whatever not tell you about orcs? And one of the interesting things was orcs has have pig noses in Dungeons and Dragons, um, at least the mountain ones do, which I had no idea. They all have; they're all supposed to have pig noses, like li- literally, like like that, pig straight up pig noses, which I thought was so interesting. Bye, Ice T. I thought it was so. I was like, what? They got pig noses. That's crazy. I don't know why. I just thought it was so weird. Um, yeah, there's my little tangent for you. I watch a lot of YouTube, though. Yes, please uh, join the Discord. Um, you can check it out. Melbell keeps posting it right uh, in the chat. Please check it out. Um, I'm going to start... I, I really want to start doing like little community things in that Discord channel, so I think that'd be kind of fun. Like, um, I don't know, community events. Maybe starting, like, little community sections of uh, more specific things. I need to figure out... I I just don't use Discord too often. I have had one for a while, but I just need to, like, figure it out a little bit more. How much time does it take for me to come up with a pattern? Well, it depends on the pattern. Uh, sometimes I'm like super motivated and I can come up with a pattern and uh, and have it completely finished in just a day. But those usually are pretty small patterns like a pod person pattern, for example. Those can sometimes take it uh, not that long because uh, I know the general idea of the pattern. There's not that much that goes into it other than changing colors and stuff. But that is a very rare um, phenomena. Uh, I'm, I'm insane. The more in-depth patterns, like let's go with this box pattern, for example. Um, I came up with it like a month or so ago. And I just sometimes I just need it to like kind of stew in the brain for a while. Uh, so that I can really get an idea of what do I want to make with this and then once I have it Once I've like tried it out a few times like for this for this pattern for example, I've I made it I Made it once a month ago and I was like, oh, this is cool This is definitely what we're gonna do for Christmas time and then uh, when like a few weeks ago, I was like, okay, let's start working on this pattern a little bit more in depth. I had the rough draft pattern written out, and me and me and Sir Pearl Gray were p- tossing it back and forth and stuff, uh, but not too much changes were happening to it. And then, uh, and then I decided to really put some work into it. So I made it like five, six times in a row, just night after night. I'd make another one. I'd think about little changes I'd want to make to it. That's it's long long answer to your question i know but it's the best way to to innovate on your patterns is just to make it over and over again because every time you make it you realize something that you didn't realize the time before so you get ideas about how you should do oh i should 
change the stitch to be over here because it's a little bit easier to explain or hey I should change the um sorry I gotta remember where I'm at in this round one two two decreases okay um I should change oh I should add holes on the pattern so that that you can have the tie like come out from under it uh, so that's something I added to the to the pattern and it took me like a few tries of doing that so long story short it takes a while it depend completely depends on the pattern what you want to make uh, but I would say that it takes a little bit longer depending on how detailed you want the pattern to be. Now, if I'm doing like a somewhat simple pattern where it's just geometric shapes that are connected together, like if I wanted to do um, like, uh, like just a bunch of spheres, for example, um, that are like sewn together, then that might not take that long, but it's still gonna take longer than, I always expect it to take a little bit longer than you expect it to because Always aim higher because it, it's better to have extra time than it is to not have enough time, you know? Bye, Mimi. <laughs> Thank you. I hope I make a cool Yeti as well. <laughs> We're, I'm definitely going to have to try to do something for this Yeti to make, it, to make it our own. So we'll see what we do there. Okay, so now we are on round... I'm on round nine. Round nine. I don't know how I'm keeping tr track so well, but we are doing fine right now. I should do a little check marks. That's what I should do. Um, if you download the PDFs for the patterns, or if you do the patterns on the website, I have check marks to keep track of where you're at for different patterns. And my gosh, is it useful, especially when you're trying to talk to chat while you're <laughs> crocheting something. One, two, three, four. Okay, so five, one, two, three, three. This sounds like a song from Pikmin. Maybe that's just because I love Pikmin, though. Big fan of Pikmin here. One and two. There we go. This arm's coming together. The Grinch. That'd be a great idea. Yeah, making cubes in the round was a tricky thing to figure out. I have to say, um, it wasn't like right away the easiest thing. Hey, we're almost at the the one hour mark, which you know what that means. Another hint for this guy. Maybe I'll try to do a new hint every 30 minutes. Uh, and then I'm on one and then two decreases, okay. I need a little bit more coffee after this, after this arm. Type 1 Rose has been obsessed with making bees. Making bees. I totally hear that. I was obsessed with making bees uh, about a year ago in the spring. I don't know why. I just... I totally get it though. Like you just get obsessed with making the same thing over and over. I mean, look at all the goblins I have. It's just so much fun. And then you don't know what you're going to do with them. You just like keep making them like the burbs. Just keep making them over and over. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I can't stop making them. They're just fun. It's just so much fun. Okay. 3D printing. Okay, so now we're on our next question, our next hint. So our next hint for this guy is, um, so our last, first hint was it fits in this box, obviously. Second hint was pretty useful. Uh, you can use this color of yarn for the pattern. So this color of yarn can be used in the pattern. Um, uh, the other hint was it can be a finger puppet. It can be a finger puppet. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, let's go with another hint. Another hint is... Um, it's not what you think is in this kit. It's not the first, your first guess might not be right. You, so, so think outside the box here because this is a, hmm. See, I have to like tiptoe around guesses. 
I got around hints because I don't want to give too much away. It's like, hmm. No, no, that's too e that's too easy of a hint. I almost gave away a really, really bad one. Ah, man. I can't think I can't I can't think of anything that's not too like on the nose. There's a hint. On the nose. What does that mean? What could it mean? On the nose. Coffee, not in the lungs. It's supposed to go into the <coughs> it's supposed to go into the stomach, not the lungs. I always mix those two up. <coughs> Ooh, okay. Nitty asks. I got hiccups now because I'm so bad at drinking coffee. Nitty asks, does it have teeth? Um, I mean. Technically, the the character, and it is a character, does have teeth, but you do not see the teeth. So, to answer your question, this pattern does not have teeth, no. It's made, okay, here's, okay, I got, I got a good, I got a good hint, I got a good hint. Um... It is a no. It's a no sew pattern. You don't have to sew any parts onto this pattern. That is a good hint. It's a no sew pattern. It's not what you think right away. It's it's not the first pattern that you'd think about, and, um, yeah, I think those are pretty good hints. I think I think those are pretty good. I mean, it not be might not be good enough to get it right, but if you wanna if you wanna be patient, I will give another hint in um, thirty minutes, one thirty, an hour and thirty. I'll, I'll I'll give another one. Okay, so now I'm on to our single crochet one, and then two. No. No, single crochet one. Oh, wait. Man, I lost track of where it was, wasn't didn't I? <clears throat> oh, five. Okay, I see where I'm at. I see where I'm at. Okay. <laughs> oh, there goes your triceratops theory. Yes, it is it is not a triceratops. Although I did make a triceratops this week. A really cool triceratops in the same color. Check it out. See? He was right here the whole time. This was because I was testing the yarn for the um the pro kits this week. I wanted to make sure that you can make like a bunch of different stuff. Two, three, four, move the five. And then we've got four slip stitches. What a tricky pattern this is. I love it. So this week I cut my finger. And I didn't anticipate it, but that cut is coming into effect when I, while I'm crocheting this because of this fuzzy yarn. It keeps getting stuck to my little cut on my index finger of my non-dominant hand. One, two, three, four, and then I'll do one more single crochet. There we go. So see that? See it? I know it's gross. Ew! Ew! But it just, it's just enough that it keeps hooking onto stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and 
clean that up a little bit. I'm disgusting. I'm gross. Ew, ew, gross. Is it a tiny Gulliver? No, and the reason why it's not a tiny Gulliver is because I it's a no-sew pattern, so it takes no sewing. And Gulliver takes a lot of sewing. There's a lot of different parts that are sewn on with that guy. Okay, two, and then we're just gonna do a last slip stitch right here. the yarn pull that through hopefully that's long enough kind of a shortcut but that's okay let's see what we got here we got arm arm we got our arms let me give you I like doing this with the arms sometimes I'll go yes be like yes 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 excellent excellent yes 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 oh hello Let's just go ahead and grab this crochet hook. No, no, this crochet hook, right? Nope. Find this crochet hook. Time to crochet. <laughs> Stupid. Let's get this uh, orange yarn out of here. So now we're on the legs, which are luckily a lot. Oh, man, this. Yarn does not want to come out. Ah, I knotted it to the end of this, but somehow I don't know how that happened. There we go. Now, luckily, the legs are a lot easier than the arms. A lot quicker, a lot easier. So we're gonna do those next. How much coffee have I had? Well. About half of this so far. Not enough. Definitely not enough. Let's here. I, I can look. Let's look through the guesses again. Let's refresh this. Oh my gosh! Forty-two responses so far. Has anybody gotten it? Wow! Great get. Someone. Great guess from someone. Not right, but great guess. Wow, was that the first guess? Wow. You guys are making some good guesses. But no one has got it right yet. No one. So patience is a virtue. Another hint in 20 minutes. Um, does anybody like playing Overcooked? I haven't played the second one yet, though. That's what 1340 Pizza Cat's Meow asks. <laughs> what a name. Yes, I love Overcooked. Me and Jules used to play Overcooked all the time. Um, the second one is amazing. I, I mean, it's so, so good. I actually just re-downloaded that game on the Switch. Um, a few days ago because Jules and I were like well, let's play a game but we want to play a game that we work together you know we don't want to work play against each other so I redownloaded Overcooked and that is the perfect game for that kind of situation so yes the answer is yes I have played Overcooked and Overcooked is an incredible game if you are looking for a game to play with your significant other or for just just uh, with some friends um, definitely check out Overcooked. It's a wonderful game. Very simple uh, and very silly. It'll make you laugh. Uh, and it's a great game of collaboration. What I love about it is that it's all about communicating in person. So it's about communicating uh, to each other. Carol, it's okay. Welcome to the live stream, Carol. It is all good in the hood. We are crushing Yancy the Yachty today. Welcome to the live stream. We are crushing Yancy the Yachty. Yancy probably knows how to yodel. Ooh. 
Oh, I got a joke. I got a joke for you. Well, actually, I think I've already told this joke on, on the live stream before, but I'm going to tell it again. Um, knock, knock. It's hard to do a knock, knock joke with people on a live stream, but knock, knock. Who's there? Ye old lady. Ye old lady. Ye old lady? Who? I didn't know that you knew how to yodel. I'm so funny. <laughs> Welcome to the crochet hood as a t-shirt. That'd be kind of funny t-shirt. <laughs> Melville saw where this guy. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, I dropped a white yarn again. I'm such a goofball. All right. Got it. I got it. I got it. There we go. We have the right yarn now. Ja. Now we do this. Oh, is this? The feet are very much easier. We are going to be onto the body in no time. Why is it so much fun to do a German accent? I don't know if this is German. It is kind of German. It is kind of like, maybe like da da Dutch or like, maybe like, Swedish, I don't know, but it is a silly little accent that I enjoy to do. <laughs> it is very fun, yeah. I also, I also really like doing the Cali accent, dude. Like doing, um, oh, dude, live life wants another hint, man. Is it a free pattern? <laughs> hmm. No. I thought about it. I thought about whether or not to like tell you uh, another hint early, but I decided, yeah, I'll let you know. It's not a free pattern, at least not normally. Sometimes I have done it for free. I think maybe I can't remember really, dude. Gotta love surfing. <laughs> I have a friend named Tommy, um, and he he kind of talks like that a little bit. And whenever he laughs, he goes, oh, I did. That's how Tommy talks. He goes, oh, I did, little dids. <laughs> Aquatic Luna. <laughs> Yes, that is something that we need to we need to address as Amy Groomy artists. Part of being an Amy Groomy artist, unfortunately or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, is a lot of time is putting your finger up a up up a butt. You got to <laughs> into yarn butts. You got to put your finger in tight side of yarn butt to get that stuffing in there. And it's just part of the job, you know, part of the job. Again. Could be a funny t-shirt. Maybe. Oh man, the, yeah, the, the California skits that they do on SNL are really funny because sometimes they talk about my hometown. Uh, I'm from a town called Thousand Oaks in Southern California. And often they talk about it. Will they be like, dude, you take a ride on Cucamonga? You go, you take the 23 and you get off of uh, El Monte. It, it's really funny because <laughs> I'm like, oh, I know those places. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six.
The Californians. It's you know what's funny, Mel Bell, is that that skit, the Californians. I for sure know people that are like that. It is not super far off of. I mean, like obviously not all Californians are like that. I'm Californian, and I don't think I'm like the Californians, but there are people down there that totally act like that. Valley, they're called Valley Girls, Valley Boys, um, and they totally act like like cliche Californians. They, those people exist, I promise. Oh man, yes, Fandom Random. I watched the new Animaniacs. Uh, we watched the first episode last night, and I loved it. It is so good. Totally great. Um, very, at least the first episode, highly suggested. If you haven't watched it yet, check out the new Animaniacs on, um, it's on Hulu. It's very self-aware. <laughs> it's a very self-aware show. Um, very, they do a lot of very meta jokes and stuff, and it's, it's very funny. I highly suggest it. It's good. It's a good, good choice. Good choice and show. You know, uh, Fatma Mamchu, Mamchu, says that uh, they are horrible at crochet. You know what? I was horrible at crochet once too. I know, I know. I, I've been crocheting a long time, so I got a lot better. But uh, yeah, I was not very good at crocheting once upon a once upon a time. And then I just kept doing it, and I got better and better and better and better. And yeah, it's that's that's just how it, that's just how it works. Practice makes perfect. You just got to keep doing it. Have you seen the movie Los Angeles with Steve Martin? No, I haven't. I don't think I have, but I love Steve Martin. I do love Steve Martin, so I'm sure I'd love it. I mean, who doesn't love Steve Martin, though? Jules and I saw one of Steve Martin's. Uh, he, he did a, a musical, actually, and it wasn't funny. It was like a serious musical. I can't remember the name of it, but it came here to, to uh, San Francisco once in... Um, like a year or so ago and it was shockingly good it was like a it was a really good um it was a really good musical let's see anybody get it anybody get it a lot of orcs captain america it's not captain america it's a good guess though because of the blue good guess Skeletor asked, do I, well, I don't know if you're asking me, but ask the chat in general, do you play any video games? <laughs> Skeletor, do I play any video games? Uh, very, oh no, I messed up. Look at, I messed up in there. Oh, I totally screwed that up. Okay, I gotta go back. Hopefully I can go back. Uh, yeah, I very, I very much play video games. Uh, a lot, 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 lot. I am pretty addicted to video games, I gotta say. Uh, they are my favorite thing ever. Most recently, I got really into um, the game Picross. I know it's not like a super gamey game, but it is what I have most recently been playing. Um, it is a game on the Switch, where it's like a little puzzle game. Uh, I also have, I'm really into Super Smash Brothers. Um, I play Super Smash Brothers every day. It is my guilty addiction. Um, I'm very, very good at Super Smash Brothers. Yesterday, I was playing Super Smash Brothers, and I got matched up with um, uh, I can't remember what his name is, but he's a professional Luigi Super Smash Brothers player, and um, he was very good. He kicked my butt like hard. Right away, right when I started playing, he beat me so bad. But the fact that I even got matched with him was pretty cool. Because I was like, wow, this guy's a pro. And he matched, like, we got matched up together. That was pretty cool. Um, I mean, I held my own. I got a stock off of him. With, like, I killed him once. But still. 
uh, it was pretty cool that I got matched up with him. I main Yoshi in that game, so if you play Super Smash Brothers and you get matched up with a yellow Yoshi and uh, his name is Louie, that's me, and I'm going to beat you. I'll beat you bad. <laughs> Uh, Rosea asks, who coded your website? So the website was originally designed by um, a friend of the channel. Uh, his, um, his name is Jason. Uh, his wife is actually one of the moderators on uh, the Facebook group. And he originally designed the website uh, and coded it. It's, it's all done on WordPress, so it it's, wasn't too hard to, to code, I don't think. Uh, but recently, um, the new design for all of the website is m done by uh, a friend of mine whose name is uh, uh, Jimmy. And he's actually my roommate when I moved to San Francisco. He was my first roommate ever, uh, and we're still good friends. And so I asked him if he could help me uh, help code some parts of the website. So we've been working on it recently. I've had people come in and out, help code with the website and stuff. Uh, but most of the website is designed by myself. Um, all the patterns. I mean, if you go and you look at one of the patterns and you're like, oh, cool, the video follows you and stuff, that was me. Uh, I spend a lot of time working on that. So, yeah, I, I guess the answer to your question is there's a lot of different people that work on the website. Uh, and most of it is done by me, but um, more difficult hard to figure out parts are done by a friend of mine named Jimmy uh, and then I'll, some of the back end stuff is done by uh, Jason who is awesome and rocks uh, he owns a website he owns a company called Market House Designs and they do um, they do designs for, for websites in general so if you actually scroll down to the bottom of the website there should be a link to their, to their website and they um, you can actually hire them to help you design your website so if you're interested check them out they're really cool All right, so we're on the next part. Wow. Um. <laughs> I'm laughing because uh, because whether you think so or not, whether you think so or not, I actually gave a pretty good hint at what is in that box earlier in the live stream and I didn't say anything about it I didn't I didn't say that it was a hint until right now but there was a hint that was said earlier and, and I you know what I pulled it out in the conversation I thought it was really slick and smooth uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't hear it but there was a hint that was said um, someone asked, do I play Minecraft? I have played Minecraft, but I haven't played in a long time. Whoa, what are you talking about? Wait, Skeletor says, I love the new Marvel season. Oh, a Fortnite. A Fortnite, got it. Yes, I liked it too. Um, I haven't played it in a while though. Jules and I used to play Fortnite a lot. Um... We're, we're actually really good. But we haven't played in a while. I think it's because we want, like... Well, first off, it's going to cut into my Super Smash Brothers time, and that that's a problem, you know? <laughs> uh, and... No, live life. It was not the nose hint. I did another hint that, that I don't think anybody caught. Um, yeah, I don't think anybody caught it. Uh... What was I saying? Nona, yes, I'll give you I'll give you a little update of what the hints were. So the hints so far have been um, at least the hints that I have said outright that they are hints, um, not in passing. But the hints outright were that there is um, that it fits in that box. It can be a finger puppet, but the one that's in there is not a finger puppet, but it could be. You can use this color of yarn to make the pattern. Um, uh, you you might need the, this color of yarn for the pattern. Uh, there are other colors involved as well, but this color is 
used. At least it can be used. Um, what else? Uh, it's a no sew pattern from the Club Crochet Library. So it's a pattern on the website that you uh, don't have to sew anything onto. Um, now that that kind of is like a misnomer. Uh, you do have to like embroider, like you do have to do some design in it, but there's no like pieces that you need to sew together. Like, you know how, like right now we're making the feet and you have to sew the feet onto the body. There's nothing like that. It's a no sew one. Um, what other hints was there? I said there was one hint about a nose. Just the, just the word nose was a hint. Um, it's not what you think right away. Okay, you, you might have an idea. Oh, it's that. It's not that. It's something else. It's, it's a little bit tricky. It's a trickier pattern to figure out. I think those are all the outright hints that I've come up with. No one has gotten it right yet. So you still have, uh, you definitely still have a chance. <laughs> Someone guessed a surprise. I mean, yeah, technically. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's been great guesses though. Um, the best guess so far that is not right, but the best guess so far um, was Doctor Strange, which is a perfect. You're 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 on kind of on the right track there, uh, because it can fit in that. You use the right color. It can be a finger puppet. You're totally using the using the right hints. It's not what you normally like think right away, because maybe you'd think right away it's like Captain America or something. But oh well, maybe it's not Captain America. But let's go with Doctor Strange. So you're you're on the right track of like where where my hints are trying to get you. Trying to get you to. Um, okay. So we are on. I'm on round three here. What's in the box? Also, if you've joined later uh, and you haven't heard me talk about it already. Uh, we have a new Discord channel for Club Crochet. So if you'd like to join the Discord channel and chat with me outside of just these live streams and kind of hang out with more of the community and just talk to each other and just, just be friends. Just a way to be friends. Um, check out the Discord channel. There should be a link. Um, Melbell posts a link every now and then in the chat. Uh, and I'm going to add it into the description of this video a little bit later. So... Yeah, check it out. Um, I'll also add it to the homepage of the website, so you can probably see it there too. And I'm still got the vote currently on the website for what uh, do you want, which burb do you want me to make next? Um, current winner is, I think, the owl, and it's winning pretty drastically. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that the next pattern, next burb pattern, is going to be the owl. But if you have strong feelings otherwise. If you want to see the hummingbird win or something like that, go vote ASAP on the website. Uh, just go to the website and log in, and you should be able to vote uh, by just scrolling down on the homepage. You can check that there. Or you can go to clubcrochet.com slash burbs, um, B-I-R-B, and you will be able to find uh, the vote there. So you can vote on which, which burb you want me to make next for a pattern for. Wow. Hey, that was actually shockingly well told, you know? Well put together. Yes. Um, fandom random. Great question. Um, yes, I do actually. I don't think I have it on the website, but maybe we'll make one soon. Uh, and I, I do have one written down somewhere. So fandom random asks, weird question, but do you have... Uh, a mini fedora hat pattern. I made myself a Perry the Platypus and I've been meaning to make him a mini fedora, but I can't find any patterns. I do actually have a mini fedora pattern somewhere. Uh, I'll need to figure out, I'll need to write it, like try it out again and I'll put it on the website um, for you. But I do, I do have one. And it's honestly, it's not even that, it's a, it's a shockingly easy pattern, so I'll have to 
I'll have to get it built up for you. Can you please remind me? Um, actually, if you end up joining that Discord channel, <clears throat> you might be able to remind me there. Or you can email me. That might help, too. But I'll need a reminder after this, because I will forget. <laughs> Type 1 Rose, Pasta La Pizza, thank you so much for joining. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Lauren Foster's got some questions for me. Let's see. Let's see what you got. Oh, dude, Amy Gurumi Boy's going to play D&D. Have fun. Seriously, have fun. I'm jealous. I'm very jealous. I would love to play D&D right now. Well, after the live stream, of course. You're on the Discord channel and you remind me. Cool, thank you. Let me check it out, actually. I haven't... I haven't checked out the Discord channel since, but oh my gosh, wow, it's popping already. Oh my gosh, hello everybody in the Discord channel. Wow, Amy Groove even made these cool slippers. Danish Crocheter made a sweet little, little, um, uh, um, what's it called? A, uh, milkshake. That's so cool. Oh, we got a Chubzilla with a Santa hat, a little duck. I'm guessing that looks like Sir Pearl Gray's pattern, what Kylie made. This is so cool already. Wow, very cool. This is so cool. It's already pumping. That's awesome. That makes me so happy. Very cool. Oh, hey, also, hey, if you like this video um, and you uh, want other people to enjoy this channel as well, join our community and stuff, uh, put, uh, make sure to like it down below. It helps get this channel spread out to new people and um, it helps me know what kind of videos to, to make for you guys. And it's just like the easiest way that you can help support the channel is just by liking the video down below nice and easy. And thank you so much for everybody that has already liked it. So now I'm making the face of our um, Yeti. I'm starting the face of our Yeti, by the way. If you're following along in the pattern, that's where I'm at. And the face has a little bit of a trick because you're doing like half color changes for rounds five and rounds eight. Uh, but it's not too crazy. And it's actually a nice way to get started with these half color changes. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, there you go. Got that, come back around. Good night, Lizzie, and Lizzie, seriously, right to you, Lizzie. You have supported for so much today, and everybody, Liz Lizzie just, supported so much that like it, you have no idea how much you've helped push my bar into being able to quit my job and do this full time and you've really really helped support me so i directly to you lizzie thank you so so much for your support you've been very supportive and i really really want you to know that i appreciate you thank you uh and i'll see you next sunday Okay, so we're gonna keep on keeping on. This this little guy or this little guy, this big boy here, that's all. That's all Lizzie's. That's all Lizzie's doing. I feel like I made this bigger than it's supposed to be, but maybe maybe I'm wrong actually. Yeah, I think I'm wrong. Are we on our next, oh, oh, next hint time. We got another hint coming up. Let me finish this round and we'll give you, a, I'll give you another hint. For the Empire! <laughs> Copy and Crochet supports again for the Empire. 
Wow, thank you so much, Coffee and Crochet. Double whammies. Double whammies it. You rock. Here's what I was going to put up for you last time, but I decided otherwise. Um, well, you did just say Church of Perch, though. Hmm. Let's Church of Perch it for you. And for the second support for you, from you, second time, you rock. You know what's going on now. Second support, Church of Perch. Hmm, what could it be? Oh, I know. It's time for Long Pigeon to make his premiere. Long Pigeon today is supported by Coffee and Crochet. Supported by Coffee and Crochet, Long Pigeon today. That That's going to be a thing now. That's that's the thing now. If you if you do a double support, you get a long pigeon will make an appearance. Who will be the supporter? Who will be the supporter that brings out the long pigeon? Find out next week. <laughs> that's kind of fun, right? Long pigeon is out and about. There we go. Okay, we're back. <laughs> long boy thank you so much thank you so much for your support I knew you would appreciate long pigeon no put him long boy you want long boy in front okay okay you need to make some room though for him. there how's that I don't want our coffee snob falling over. Sarah Curry. Oh, that's all good, dude. Thank you so much for joining, Sarah. I totally appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, oh my gosh, Zoe. Yeah, totally. Uh, Zoe just said, Long Pigeon reminds you of those long Furbies. There's actually, I think there's a subreddit for those long Furbies. I don't remember what, they're, what it's called, but some there's like this weird community out there. I shouldn't say weird. They're not that weird. Aquatic Luna. Oh no. Let me finish my sentence and then I'll and then I'll put something up for you, Aquatic Luna. <laughs> oh my god. Um oh, that's a great question though. Um, okay. So yeah, there's a community out there that makes that make Furbies and they like sew them all together and they make them like really weird. It's super weird. They're like crazy long Furbies. Some people make like giant scarves and they're super creepy because I mean they're Furbies so Furbies are creepy. Um, okay. Aquatic Luna says, what if there are two doubles? Oh, I'm, yeah. Exactly what Coffin Crochet makes. said, uh, I'm going to have to make more long pigeons I think. Jules is just going to have to deal with the fact that there's going to be a lot of long pigeons. <laughs> How about, okay. Oh man. Put me on the spot, dude. You put me on the spot. Okay. Um, hmm. 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 Aquatic Luna. Oh, man. Camo, oh, Kim. You. <laughs> I'm going to go back to this just real quick. Thank you, guys. Three double supporters. Four double supporters. Sasha. You guys are wonderful. Thank you. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got to put some stuff out here. We got to keep crocheting. So, let's see. For our first double, for our first double, we got to go big, you know? Let's put Gulliver out here. We'll put Gulliver right here. This one is for um, this one's for Aquatic Luna. And then for let's see, for Kim, for Kimmy, we got about oh, what's this? Oh no, no, not him, not him. Um. Hmm. 
Let's see. I'm trying to go deep into the into the back log of of crochet things that I've made. Oh, here, here we go, here we go. How about this? How about this guy? A little sailor octopus. He's pretty cute, right? He actually has the same hat as uh, as Gulliver over there. We'll put him right, put him right there. That one's for Kim. And then for Sasha, how about, how about, um, um, let's see. Oh, we talked about, we talked about Doctor Strange. How about we put Doctor Strange out there? He's like a really, he's an interesting one that's not normally there. How's that? I gotta make, I gotta make more long pigeons though. But this one is for, um, so this one's for Sasha. Sasha, Mr. Doctor Strange. Can I just point out really quick? I'm sorry, Long Pigeon. Dr. Strange needs to go in front of you. Uh, let me just point out real quick that like, look at that. Look at how much you guys have helped support this channel today. Thank you. Thank you. Like, thank you. Okay, we're gonna keep, keep rocking and rolling here, but wow. Okay, so what round am I even on? You guys are so distracting today. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you support my channel and, and distract me a bunch? Oh my god. Aquatic Luna. Dude, you are on fire with the ideas. Yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> that's a great idea. A three-headed suburb... <laughs> Jules is gonna be so upset. She's gonna be like, not not really. She won't really be upset, but she's gonna be like, why did you make this? <laughs> I'm gonna have to explain. You don't get it. <laughs> they wanted a three-headed pigeon. Have you guys seen the TV show? Um, dude, Emma. That's a good. That's a good guess. Good guess. It's not. It's not that. But it's a good guess. Um, oh, Skeletor. Great, great question. Skeletor asks, could there be one that you set out in the box? Or does that mean that it's not in the box? Uh, it, is, it is not on the table right now. What's in that box is not, on, not one of these guys. Not one of these guys. Um, and here's my other hint that I totally forgot to tell you earlier. Uh, uh, I said the name of what was in the box earlier. I said it. Remember when I said, remember when I said, oh man, I gave you guys a hint. The hint was that I literally said what was in that box earlier. I said exactly what it was, but... I said it nice and chill in conversation. What? When? When? When did you say that, Lou? I don't know. I'm pretty sure no one's gotten it right yet, though. And if no one gets it right this whole live stream, don't worry, we'll still do a giveaway of just randomly. I'll just randomly choose one of the people that won or that that guessed. So even if no one gets it right, it'll still be out there. Tina's rocking it, rocking it again. Tina. Double support Tina. Double support Tina gets a um How about um How about, oh, here's an interesting one. That, that's How about, um, how about Ultron? What? Ultron? That's right. Ultron. <laughs> how weird is that, right? 
This is one of the an early thing that I crocheted when I was first doing pod people, um, and I first started doing uh, patterns for for Avengers characters. Um, I was really into comic books at the time. I, I mean, I still am really into comic books, but I really was then as well. And so I was doing just like all these weird characters. And this is Ultron, um, the villain from uh, the second Avengers movie. Uh, it doesn't really look like that. Ultron because it looks different in the comics, but this is Ultron from the comics and this is for <laughs> Kim <laughs> You trying to kill me <laughs> Kim what Kim, you did not have to do that, dude. That, you, thank you. Wow. Um, for people that are not seeing the chat, Kim just supported for $100. $100. Oh my God, Kim. I'm never going to finish this pattern. <laughs> I'm just the whole time just going to be putting things on screen. <laughs> oh Kim, what are we going to put on? Oh my God. Kim, I don't even know what to put on screen for that. Kim, you're crazy. You're crazy, Kim. Okay. Um, I don't. I honestly don't even know what to, what to what to do for that. I have no idea. I'm not gonna have any room for crocheting. The screen's just gonna be covered in crochet things. How about this? This is a pretty epic thing that I've never done the pattern for, and I just don't know. <laughs> okay, this is for Kim, and it's crazy. Let me do the face thing. I mean, it's a hundred, like, I'm sorry for continually pausing and everything, um, but, like, what am I supposed to, I have, I, yeah. Kim, this is for you. This is one of the, coolest things that I've ever made before and I, I still I have the pattern rough draft in there I just need to put my work into it maybe I'll do it next October or something but it's one of the coolest things I've ever crocheted in my entire life uh, and I love it it's Audrey 2 from from uh, from Little Shop of Horrors it's crazy detailed as you can see I've been feeding in my blood sweat and tears and this is for you, Kim. Thank you so, 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 so much. Um, Audrey 2 is going to go behind the gift. Oh, my God. I, actually, this might have been a horrible decision because he's so big. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> we'll go like this. Octopus back here. We'll put the box back there. Okay, don't worry, the box is still in. Let's go like right. Like that, and then like that. Long pigeon will go here. That'll go here. Look at how much room I have to crochet, though. <laughs> I'll go there, and there, go there. Like that. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. Kim. Kim, my dude. Crazy wild. Crazy wild. Wow. Thank you, Kim. Thank you very much. Um, now I just got to get back to crocheting like everything's normal. Um, okay. So we're crocheting again. Put Doctor Strange in Audrey's mouth. <laughs> we'll put something in there. Um, thank you so much again, Kim. Thank you. 
I, I mean, I don't know what to say. That, that was amazing. I can't wait to tell Jules. She's like, what? <laughs> so we're going to continue on the face here. I'm going to keep crocheting, and I'm not going to get distracted anymore. No more super chats. It'll be too distracting. <laughs> okay. Just kidding. If you want to, go for it. <laughs> but seriously, Kim. No one's topping that. I mean, that's good. Look at look at how slow the little bar is going down for the hundred. That's gonna take forever to go away. Gosh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yesterday, um, so yesterday I was so grumpy. I was so grumpy because I had turned so I bought a new camera. I didn't really want to talk about this that much on the live stream because it was really upsetting me yesterday. But, uh, Kim, you've made my day so great that even the things that are really bugging me uh, are not that big of a deal anymore. But I bought a new camera. I bought a new DSLR camera for the live streams so that I could up the quality for you guys to make it look like just the videos are in general are, are a little bit better. So I bought a new camera. It cost a lot of money. Um, and it came and I set it up. And then I realized that I bought the wrong camera and I had thrown away all the stuff to get rid of the camera, like to, to return the camera, like the box and stuff, because I'm an idiot. I'm so stupid. Um, and I was kicking myself so hard yesterday for it. And uh, I'm, I mean, I'm just going to have to figure out how to sell it and stuff like that. But the point is, it really brought me down. I just felt like such a dummy and I was just kicking myself so hard and... Uh, you made me realize that it just that's it's fine, Lou. It's fine. You just you you know it's just a little bump in the road that you need to fix. You need to fix it. Okay, who cares? You need to get a new one. You need to make it work out and deal with it. And Jules was trying to make me happier, and she totally did. She totally cheered me up yesterday when I was really upset. But like, I don't know. I've just been taking things that are little little hiccups in the road little things that have been really bothering me have been bothering me so much more than normal and i'm i'm sure that happens with a lot of people i'm sure everybody you know we all have these little hiccups in the road we all have these things that kind of just randomly upset us and i need to stop taking them so seriously i need to stop get, letting them hit me so hard and and Sometimes it like prevents me from waking up in the morning. Like I just want to lay in bed longer or, or I'm just get terrible anxiety from it. And um, I don't know. It's nice to have you guys here with me and to, to talk this kind of stuff through, you know, and clearly, clearly you guys love me. I love you guys too. And yeah, I appreciate you guys. I really do. If it's not obvious. Yeah. Wow, Kim. Wow, wow, wee wow. You have no idea how much you just changed my outlook on the world. Like, great. Great. You're a good human. Okay, so I am on the body of our Yancey here. Yeah, I definitely, yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely, Melbo. I mean, it's just right now is difficult. I know it's difficult for everybody, so I'm, it's just difficult sometimes. Okay, so I'm going to cut our little hair here. If we wanted to have like this. I like to always cut it a little bit angled like that to give it kind of like a little cute little look. My mom has the original Yancey the Yeti, so this one's gonna be just for me. I'll put these guys out here. Let's start adding the face already. <laughs> has anybody found out what's in the box? Let's find out. Oh, we get another hint. Four minutes for another for another hint. 
But I don't think anybody has guessed what's in the box correctly yet. 60 guesses, though. Wow, wow, wee wow. Let's see. Ooh, some people are close. Nope. No one's gotten it. No one's gotten it yet. <clears throat> no one has gotten it yet. Um, and I gotta start thinking about what we want for the next hint. I'm gonna go I here, and let's go with an I right here. That's pretty cute. And we're gonna, I'm gonna do cheeks. What color cheeks should I do? Pink? I think pink cheek. I mean, I always like pink cheeks. Cause it's cute. And yes, a recap of all the hints and then I'll give you a new one. Let me think of the new hint. Let me make this face and then I'll, and think of a new hint and then I'll, um, we'll go through it all. I'll go through all the hints and then I'll give you a new one. Um, Yeah. Let me grab some pink yarn. One sec. I'm right here. I'm here. Don't worry about me. Hot pink or light pink? What do you think? Hot pink or light pink? Oh, purple. Purple, purple. A lot of people saying purple. I like purple. Yeah, purple's a fun idea. I... Oh, I have purple. Here, how about this? Best of both worlds. It's like a it's like a lavender purple. We'll do that because it's like purple and pink and blah blah blah. It's perfect. Here we go. Okay. Purple's uh, one of my favorite colors, actually. That's actually why the website. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but the website, if Okay, wait, hold on. I'll, I'll respond to that in just a second. <laughs> I need to, like, finish sentences before I look at chats because when I look at the chat, I get so distracted on what I was saying that I totally forget it. Anyhow, um, uh, yeah, so the website, when I chose the colors for what is, like, Club Crochet's colors, uh, uh, I put a lot of thought into it, you know. Like, first off, I wanted it to be a color that is not... Um, not like not gender specific i mean no color really is gender specific to be fair yeah i like that because it's just like a hint of purple you know um <clears throat> no color is really technically gender specific but uh a you know i didn't want it to be a like a pink or a blue um and I wanted to be because I wanted it to be clear that like anybody can crochet. You don't need to be a boy or a girl or whatever. You don't need to be from here or there. You don't need to be anything. You just anybody can learn how to crochet. And so that was the first thing I thought about. And then I thought, OK, well, I want to be happy to look at it every day because I want it to be like something that I personally like because I'm going to be doing this a lot. And so I chose purple as our main color. Um, you can see it in the logo of the Club Crochet. The, the crochet hook is purple. Um, that's one of my favorite colors of all time. I love the color purple. I also love the color teal, which is the other color that is like the main color. So purple and teal are the main colors on the website because they're my favorite. And I felt that they were very gender neutral. I, I didn't want it to be like me to, to be telling you anything. I don't know. I don't know what I mean, but I just like the color purple is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> that's a long way to say I really like the color purple okay so it's subtle but I love look at like do you see how much it adds to the face there he just suddenly little tiny thing so much more personality to him um next is uh, Aquatic Luna says, if throwing money at you here and there can get you to do this full time, we're happy to help. You do so much. You bring so much of the blah, blah, blah. Uh, so much. Wait. Ugh. You do so much and bring so much and bring a bunch of people together 
uh, that all love the same things. Yeah, I told. I mean, yeah. Thank you so much. I, I, I keep thinking I'm I'm so close to being able to do this full time and and do really. I mean, like between you and me, I do kind of do this full time, but I do have a job, so I have to like do that in the in day. Uh, but uh, but I I. I definitely put at least 40, 40 hours a week into Club Crochet every week. Um, so, oh man, I hope my boss doesn't watch this because <laughs> that wouldn't be good. Uh, but yeah, I crochet a lot. And um, yeah, you know, it's just difficult. It, it, I, I feel like I'm closer than ever, but... Um, I don't know, all the time I think like, well, it, we are in a pandemic. Uh, anything could happen at any time. You could lose your job. Would you survive if you lose your job? Maybe for a couple months, but who knows, you know? Who knows? So, yeah, I just kind of, honestly, I've just been trying to save a lot of money uh, from, the, from my day job so that I can, like, make it work out. That's enough. That's, a, that's t TLDR. Um, what do I do at my day job? Uh, my I work as a um, I'm a social media manager and uh, video product uh, head of video production for a company. Um, their name is Top Coder. They we make apps for big companies, uh, and I do all the videos. I do motion graphics animation, which is um, why you probably see a lot of motion graphics. Uh, little animated things on club crochets because that's what I do for my day job anyhow I'm pretty good at it um, and I really enjoy doing that stuff also but a lot of my job is also social media stuff and I don't love doing that to be honest uh, but yeah uh, when I am able when I am able to quit my job Jasmine when I'm able to quit my job and go full-time crocheting and truly 100% be a professional hooker I am getting the I'm sorry if you guys don't uh, if some of you guys are not super into tattoos but I've always wanted this ever since I was in high school so I've thought about it for more than a decade now is I want to get this exact thing maybe without this maybe without crocheting101.com but that tattoo of professional hooker I drew this in high school and I want it tattooed on my calf. I don't know which calf. Maybe my right calf or left calf. Hello. But that'll be one of the first things that I do. To make it official. You know. Um, someone had a quick question. Lauren asks. Um, Lauren Foster asks. Is this Christmas theme? Is it Christmas themed? Is it a pattern you have done before? Is it the carrot from a book? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, okay, so you're asking about this. Oh, bye, Stranger Danger. Thanks for joining. See you next week, maybe. Um, so it's time to do another hint for this uh, this box here. So here is hint number... Uh, we'll go through all the hints first. So first off, all the hints. Looks like we're off-center a little bit. There we go. Okay, so so all the hints that have been given so far. Let me have a, a coffee real quick and remember what the hints were. Okay, it fits in this box. It can be a finger puppet, but this current one is not a finger puppet. It's a pattern from the Club Crochet Library, but one of the most important hints is it's not what you think directly. It's not the first thing that you think. Maybe it's the second thing, but it's not the first thing. So if you're like browsing through the patterns on the website, it might actually, if you are browsing through the patterns on the website, it, the picture of what's in here will not be on that because it's not what you first think. It's kind of like a secondary pattern on the website, but it is technically a pattern on the website. Um, uh, one hint was nose. Another hint was uh, it, character has teeth but this pattern does the what's in here does not have teeth it's a no sew pattern so it's only it's all made in one piece um it's uh it uses this color in the pattern and 
now it's time for oh and i said i said what was in the kit what was in this box one time in this live stream i've said the the name of what is in here uh now another hint um live life bye bye thank you for watching uh, another hint uh is that it is um It is, uh, from a video game. It's from a video game. It's from a lot of video games. That's a pretty solid one. Yeah, from a video game. There you go. Um, National Resource Center on Domestic Violence. Wow. Hello. Uh, asks, what is... Wait, is this a tutorial? No, this... What we're doing right now isn't currently a tutorial. It's a crochet along, so you, you can make the pattern while I'm making the pattern. So it's kind of like we work together. Uh, there is a full-length video tutorial for this pattern where I teach every single stitch. Um, and you can find it by just going to clubcrochet.com slash yeti. Uh, you can see a link right here, clubcrochet.com slash yeti. There's also one in the description down below. And if you, um, uh, there is, uh, if you go to that, what that page, uh, the pattern, I think is, it's only two ninety nine for the pattern. Um, uh, uh, one second, Lexi, I'll get to your question in just a second. Um, it is a, but there's also a full length video tutorial and a uh, written pattern. Uh, it also comes with the PDF version of the pattern. And you can find all that by going to uh, just clubcrochet.com slash Yeti. And if you are a um, Club Crochet member on the website, uh, for, sorry, I just need to get this first part done, five. Yeah, okay. I just need to get this first part done so I know where I'm at. Um, if you are a Club Crochet member on the website, you'll get access to it. Just like if you're a member on the website, you get access to all the patterns on the website. So it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, so there is a tutorial for it. Lex, uh, Lex at, Lexi asks, um, uh, wait, is it in the box? Does it fit in the box? Like, is it that small? Yes, it's this small. I didn't make it any smaller than the pattern actually makes it. So it's this small, this tiny. And I actually, here's another hint. I actually had to make uh, it a little bit, I had to use this taller box for it. Taller box. He's taller. It's taller. Someone has got to get it by now. I have, I, there's so many hints here. Let me see. No one's gotten it? Whoa, wait. I thought I saw it. No. No. Oh my gosh. People are getting really close though. Really close. I can't believe, maybe I made it too difficult. Maybe next time I'll do this, um, I'll do something a little bit, a little bit easier, or I'll give better hints. Um, okay, so five in an increase. One, two. Increase. Slender Man. Yes, it's Slender Man. Yeah, see, that's the that's the worry about giving about guessing too early. So you only get one guess. So if you're the first one that gets it right, yippee, you win. But if you have already guessed before, uh oh, uh oh, too bad, so sad. So sometimes don't give away your guess too early because you might need one of the hands, especially if it's going to be this tricky for the for the game. I, by the way, I love this. We're gonna be doing these box games all month long. So if you continue joining these live streams, 
uh, and you like this little fun game that we're doing, I'm going to keep doing them. So, and I, I'm going to try to do the gifts being, uh, the giveaway being a little bit better every week. Every week I'm going to try to make it a little bit, a little bit better of a, um, of a winning gift. And we're going to open it at the end of the live stream. So as long as you're sticking around, we're going to open it. And as long as you put your email in the form when you do the giveaway, uh, which is required, so yeah. Uh, but as long as you do the form, uh, you should get an email. So you don't have to like stick around for the whole live stream. You don't need to stick around till the end to find out what's in there. You'll know if you won. I'll let you know. Um, I have got to get some pipe cleaners, and also I have got to go to the bathroom. So I will be right back. Give me um, just, I just need two minutes. So two minutes, please. Uh, I'll be right back. Uh, in the meantime, uh, you can look at uh, how adorable Yancey is, and you can look at how cute this is. So I'll keep this right here. I'll be right back. Wow. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't be mad. I'm so sorry. I'm back. 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 Oh my god, I come back in the chat. Oh my gosh. Sasha, you're funny. Quick, while he's gone, church of purge call. You guys are silly. Okay, I'm back. Did anybody get it? Oh, we have some more guesses, though. Wow, no one's got it yet. All right, we're going to I'm going to give a really good hint at 2:30. At, at at in 15 minutes I'll give a I'll give a good hint. So I am on, where am I in this? Where am I? Four, five, six. Okay, so I'm on 17, I think. Four, five, six, seven, and then here's the increase. Um, I'm going to give a really good hint in a little bit, so you might not even need the other clues. But the last big clue for what was in the box was that it's, uh, it's from a video game.
it's fun because if you if you're like paying attention to the live stream, there's like extra hints in here and there and blah blah blah. Whoa, this song is getting weird. Where am I in the music here? Did I must have restarted. I'm going to start from this song. That's nice. I listen to video game music that's wintry. Hi, Maisie. Hi, Maisie. Hope you're enjoying the live stream. Uh, Life is a Gem asks, character from Minecraft? I don't have any, um, well, actually, I think that technically this character has been in Minecraft, but it's not a character from Minecraft. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that this, um, yeah, I'm, I might start doing more Minecraft patterns now that I know how to do cubes in crochet, but yeah, this guy is not tech, not from Minecraft. I was trying to do a puffin last week, actually, uh, for a new new burb that's a puffin. Uh, I was trying to make one, uh, but I got kind of distracted <laughs> mid crochet. Is it a Pokemon? Fandom Random asks, "Is it a Pokemon?" No, not a Pokemon. Not a Pokemon, but good guess, good good attempt there. I do have a lot of Pokemon patterns. I, I at least have three, four solid Pokemon patterns on the website. And I'm pretty sure Squirtle would fit in there. But it's not Squirtle. But he... Mm, it does appear in a game where Squirtle appears too. A game that I'm a very big fan of. And I play a lot of it. He's in a lot of games. This song is fun. <clears throat> Ellie Donnie. Ellie Donnie just had a great idea in the chat. I wonder if you can make burps that look like Pokemon burps evolution. Oh my god, there's so much potential, Louie. You're right. Oh my god, I, you're a genius. We'll do a Zapdos, an Articuno, and a Moltres. We'll do a Lugia, a Ho-Oh. Genius, you're a genius. You're a genius. Quails, oh my god, I need to crochet so many burbs. Oh my gosh, I gotta crochet. I got so much work to do. This, this soundtrack's fun. Yeah, I think, um, I'm not sure where these songs are from, to be honest. Oh, hey, what did you guys think about, uh, the, the backdrop here? I did like a light blue for the backdrop so that you could see the white because I've realized that when I was doing it uh, where the whole backdrop was white, it was hard to tell what was going on with this yarn. Um, so I, I decided last minute to do a light blue. What do you think about it though? I mean, it wasn't too, huff, too tough for me to set up, uh, but if you like what's going on there, I, I can start doing that more often with like a fun color for whatever, um, whatever's in the backdrop. <laughs> I look like Rob McClure. I'm gonna look that up right now and I'll tell you if I'm offended or not. <laughs> I'll be shocked if I am offended though. Yeah, I'm not offended. That, yeah. I could kinda see that, I guess, a little bit. If he had glasses and... I definitely see it with the hairline. My hairline's starting to do what his hairline's doing, which is kinda like 
bowling out a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't do that too much. But we'll see. We'll see. Time is fickle. So I think I do this for like seven rounds? Five rounds. Okay, so I have two more rounds of just straight single crochets to do. Blue looks good. People like the blue. Okay, good. Nice. I'm glad you guys like it. Thanks, Ellie. <laughs> Oh, Pidgey, of course. Pi oh my god, I'm gonna have to do so many Pokemon. Oh, Pokemon burbs. Poke burbs. Whoa, this song got loud, huh? I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. That's better, right? Could he. Oh, Nicole. Um, I already put my guess in, but just a thought. Doubt it's right, but could he also be yellow? Um, no. Uh, no. No. It, well, I mean, I guess you could do... You could replace the blue with yellow, I guess. But it wouldn't... It would be kind of strange. There is a small, little bitty bit of yellow used in the pattern. Just a little bit, though. Penguin burb. Yeah, I gotta do a penguin. I just gotta figure out the wings and the and how to do the color changes and the face and stuff. I don't know. I gotta think about how to do the pigeon better. Okay, so we did our five rounds. One, two. Oh no, one more. One more round. This one is the last round of just the single crochets. I think I might have not anchored. No, no, he's looking good. He's looking good. Ooh, you hear that? That was a good crack. Here we go, another one. Oh, man. That was a nice one. That was nice. <laughs> okay, so we've got our five rounds of single crochets. And now I start decreasing down before we add the arms. Okay, I'll do I'll do one or two rounds of decreasing. Um, here's my next plea. Uh, if you like this video and you haven't already, um, please like it down below. Uh, please just like the video. It helps uh, get seen by other new channels and uh, it just is the cheapest, quickest, easiest way to support the channel and a great way to just show that you like what I'm making. So if you like this video, prove it. Like it down below, please. Okay, so this is our first round of decreasing. I think we can probably, maybe we can add the arms after this. There we go. Let's see what we got here. That's good, right? Whoa, what a song. How is this Christmas themed song? What a wild song this is. Uh, 
Um, what inspired the design of the pigeon burbs? Asks uh, uh, 1340 Pizza Cats Meow. <laughs> what a name. Um, what inspired the pizza, the pigeons? Uh, I think a lot of things inspired the pigeons. Uh, I really liked just doing the tiny birds in general. Uh, and one of the big inspirations was um, the game Fall Guys. I've been playing the game Fall Guys recently, and there's a pigeon in that. Uh, that probably started the spark, uh, and then I just kind of like went off it from there. The the thing that inspired it to be turned into burbs is I honestly I don't know I don't I don't know why I decided that that they should be burbs, uh, but um. Yeah, you know, that's a good question, Emery. Uh, we should do a name for the long pigeon. Um, we'll have to do a vote for it, I think, so that everybody gets a say, because I know that he is very much admired <laughs> by everybody. So we need to think about that. <clears throat> Let me think about it a little bit, though. Okay, we're going to sew arms on now. Let me get this first arm sewn on, and then I'll do another hint for the get giveaway, too. There we go. Two like that. There's his little arm. That's all I have to do for the arm. <laughs> Can you imagine? Longfellow? Terrence? We do have some good names going on here. Mango, that's a good name. I just like that name in general. There's a Super Smash Bros. player that's named Mango. At least uh, there used to be. I don't know how much he plays now. He probably plays, but I haven't heard of him in a while. Um, now some stuffing. Now check out my cool stuffing bag here. Wait, where is it? Here it is. Oh, I recognize this song. I think this is from Mario Kart. Check out... This is my bag for stuffing. He's a good pillow. I just put a bunch of stuffing into it. This is a pattern in the library too. Clubcrochet.com slash Animal Crossing. Yeah, right? Me too, Sasha. I totally agree with you. This music brought brings memories. Stuff the arm is the great is the important question here. No, I don't think I did. That I think is fine. Well, I'd be able to turn it though. Probably. Okay, let's sew this arm on, and then we'll get to our next. Oh no, no. There we go. Then we'll get to our next hint. Oh yeah, dude, Jillian, pipe cleaners are the way to go, man. Uh, they're the easiest way to get access to to wire, you know, and, and you can find it anywhere. And it's usually really strong wire too. Um, I mean, it depends on the pipe cleaner, but the ones that I'm using right now are like crazy. These are like industrial pipe cleaners. They're like, I don't know why, but they, are, they have no right to be this strong. <laughs> no, no right. Check it out, check out Kim's $100 support is still on the screen. Oh my gosh. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Do I got one more on me? 
Yeah, like freeze frames there on a sneeze. Ooh. Thank you, thank you for the bless you, thank you very much. I actually count the stitches. Let, uh, let's count these stitches here. Let's count these stitches. This is the part of the live stream that are always the most. Oh my gosh, Mel Bell, bless, bless Lou. You're so lame. <laughs> I only I say that in jest because I'm equally as lame. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five. Wait. One. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven spots. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we gotta go down and around. Right there. One year ago today, a whole year ago today, I was in Japan with Jules. We went to Japan on vacation a year ago, and it was so fun. Best vacation I've ever done. We talk about it like literally every day about how much we want to go back what a wonderful it was just such a wonderful time if you ever get a chance to go if you're an american it's going to be a while because we got to get the world in check first before they'll even let us in but uh, i highly highly suggest visiting japan if you get a chance it's a really just a wonderful magical place all right so we got one two three four Five. We go one, two. Yeah, we're doing great. I'm gonna start doing this a little bit different than I normally sew things on. I'm gonna do it like that, then go back in. See, normally when I sew things on, I just, I try to do as much as I possibly can in one fell swoop. But this time, uh, so like, for example, normally when I'm crocheting, um, oh, bye Sarah. Thank you so much, Sarah. Thanks for joining the live stream. Thanks for uh, helping moderate and stuff. So thank you, Sarah. Bye. Uh, tell the kids I say hi. Um, so normally when I do uh, sewing things on, I usually go like in a section and then into where I came out of on the body and then I come out through the next part but that's kind of tricky for this because there's so many different like the fuzz just makes it tricky so what I'm gonna do instead I'm just gonna go into the body and then come out and then do in out like that just I'm just splitting it into two separate steps to try to make it like as simple as possible and I totally screw that up there we go and one Last one, like that. And now it's time for another hint. Who's ready for another hint? We'll go. Th we'll quickly go through all the hints that have been already given. So we're given hints on what is in this box right now. You can vote on it by going to the form that is in the description of this video, or uh, you might see Mel Bell has posted it in the chat pretty often. So, um. Here are the current hints. It fits in that box. It uses this color of yarn for the pattern, at least for part of the pattern. It can be a finger puppet. It is not a finger puppet, but it can be turned into a finger puppet. It's from a video game. I have mentioned the character one time in this chat. Uh, it is small enough to fit in that box. Uh, oh, oh, the, the word nose is kind of important for it. Uh, and now here is another hint, um, and this is kind of a, an indirect hint because I want to give one more really strong hint before I give uh, uh, before we decide on it. But um, uh, the next hint is uh, that it is oh oh sorry one more one more hint that was previously described was that it is a uh, a pattern. It's not directly what you think. It's kind of like it's kind of like off center to what you normally. <clears throat> think so the first thing that you think oh it's this 
You're probably close, but it's not that. Um. Uh. Oh, and there's and yes, N Nitty brings up another good point. Uh, it uses a little bit of yellow in the pattern too. Uh, it is a pattern from the Club Crochet Library also. Uh, new hint is um, a personality trait. There is a specific personality trait <coughs> to the character which this pattern is based on. And the personality trait is cowardly. So the character that is in that box is cowardly. Okay. One more big hint before we choose it when I finish this. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, we'll be doing another hint later on in just a little bit. I'm going to look at the giveaway now. No one's got it. I can't believe no one's got it. It's crazy to me that no one has guessed this right. Crazy. So crazy. Um, okay. Next to sewing another arm. See, I do the pipe cleaners in the arms so that you can bend them. So you should be able to like bend them. It, you can't do too much on this because the arms are like so big. Well. Tina, good night. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for your support. You uh, you uh, supported a few times and I just really appreciate that. Dana, how about making a pug? That's a great idea. Um, I was thinking actually it'd be really good to do a pug based off the, um, the pattern I have for a pig would make a good pug too. So I, I should do that. I should do that. But you know, there's a million things to do. We're gonna go with the next arm here. Really? How do I do like individual? No. <laughs> that's a funny that's a funny guess someone guessed the cowardly lion from wizard of oz that's not uh i don't have that pattern in the library so that's an important thing to remember is that this is a pattern that i have in my club crochet library so you got this Okay, so here is the I need I needed to pull out from the inside this other blue part so that I have something to tie it together with. I almost forgot to do that. I almost left that too short too, which would have been a bummer. Summer bummer. Oh, I'm sorry, little dude. This little this little cigar goblin fell over. Gee. Let's give him some stuffing. Some stuffing in the arms. Boom, boom, boom. I don't even know what this song is from. It sounds like it's from like Kirby. Maybe. I know, right, Ying? I need a Yoshi pattern. Uh oh. Uh oh. Someone says I'm lagging. How bad is it lagging? Is it still lagging? Tina, go to bed. I mean, you don't have to, but if you, I totally understand if you should, if you do. It's very late there in Denmark. Whew. 
Plus one on a Yoshi pattern, please. All right. I will. I, I have one actually in, um, that I used to have the Yoshi a Yoshi pattern that was really really good, uh, but it was just tricky and I didn't have a video tutorial for it, so I took it off. Uh, I I stopped selling it, um, right before I came out with the website Club Crochet. So I I have something I could use to uh, kind of get get a pattern working on. So I a Yoshi pattern is definitely. Um, doable doable very very much doable and very very much uh will be in the works in the future um this is the box i collab uh no the one i'm do oh it fell over the pattern, the one that we're collabing on looks like this. It's going to be more like smaller, like this guy. This is probably going to be the size of the box. But when in the Club Crochet Pro Kits, if you get the Pro Kits this month, um, you can make up to uh, a bigger, way bigger box, um, even bigger than this box. It's pretty big. It's like, it's like that big. Actually, I have one over here. I'll show you. So if you sign up for a Club Crochet membership, a pro membership, like literally this is your last chance. So sign up now if you want to get it, uh, the pro kits mailed to your door uh, this week. So last chance, but you can make a box up to this this size, which is pretty, pretty significant. Uh, you can fit a lot in there. Um, you can fit, like the dino can fit in here. So it's a pretty significant size box. This is this is how big you can make it. You can make it a little bit bigger, um, but that's just because I add extra yarn just in case uh, you mess up somewhere. So yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, back to it. Back to it. Two, three. There we go. like that and we'll start working our way around like that okay where are we at we got one wait one two five one two three four yeah perfect wow that was lucky it's a perfect sew together yeah I so um, the game girl says when I crochet I like to sew on the body parts after I stuff the body and sew it closed um, uh, that is totally reasonable and a lot of times I do like to do that like I'm going to probably do that with the feet uh, the reason I sewed on the arm prior to sewing it closed is because I wanted to add wire um, a pipe cleaner specifically into the arm so that uh, the arm was posable, so that you can turn the arm into different directions. And that is really difficult to do uh, if you sew your piece closed prior to um, sewing the arm on. So that is my reason for sewing on the arms right now. But I do get what you're saying. Totally understand that. But look at how perfectly shaped that is for a coffee cup. We're almost done though. That's pretty cool. We just need to um, finish crocheting them closed. 
stuff him up, sew the legs on, and then make him a coffee cup, and we'll be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and just jump ahead a little bit and stuff this up his to the top of the head while I can get up there. My gosh, a sushi pattern, that's so good. Let's see, I don't know if anybody's, get oh wow, we got a lot more guesses really quick there though. All right. Um, okay. So, so here's the thing, here's the thing guys. Someone got it right. One person has got it right. Uh, in the form. And now here's what I'm gonna do. Because I just said that someone got it right, I don't wanna discourage you from guessing. So if you still wanna guess and you get it right, um, I'll give you a free pattern. I'll give you a free pattern for what, for this pattern. So, still guess. If you get it right, I'll still give you something for free. Because <laughs> I don't wanna discourage you from guessing. But someone did get it right. The first person has got it right. So the big winner has already been uh, guessed. But that doesn't mean that you still can't win something for guessing it right. So, guess. Oh, I forgot to put something on this this time that had the YouTube name so that I could give them a shout out because they don't have their name on this. So I, I don't want to like shout out what their email is. So I'm sorry. I won't tell you, but next time I'll put a little thing where you can put what your name is so that I can give you a shout out. Oh yeah, we're getting that, we're getting close to that Christmas music. I was trying to kind of avoid the Christmas music because, um, because this guy's like winter themed, not technically Christmas themed, but you know, Christmas music leaks its way into everything. So can only avoid it so much. Let's count, I'm gonna count the stitches because I think I might be at a good point here. Let me see. Three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're doing great. We are doing great. Oh, I'm getting a little choppy. Chippity choppity. Oh, yeah, I see it. I see it chopping up a little bit. Sorry about that. Oh, I know definitely what this song is from. Well, at least that last part. Love that song. Love it the way I sing it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and give him give a little bit more stuffing in this guy. Here's my bag of stuffing. Where's my bag of stuffing? Oh my god, there's my bag of stuffing. No, it is not Disney themed. It is video game themed. Disney does not own this character. Even though Disney owns like everything. And I'm sometimes surprised that Disney doesn't own this character. <laughs> dude, Jillian, Amy Gurumi is easy. I'm telling you, dude. Amy Gurumi is easy squeezy. I mean, this pattern specifically is not super duper easy, but Amy Gurumi in general is not as hard as it seems. 
Wow, really lagging it up, huh? Is it laggy? As laggy as it is for me? It's, it looks like super laggy. Huh. Yeah, lag again, yeah. It might be because Jules is, might be watching something in the other room, so. I mean, we, I've been going for so long, I don't want to, like, tell her don't watch anything, so. Sorry. Bear with me. Bear with the lag. It, it should end soon, I hope. And we're coming to the end of the pattern anyhow, so. So, sure, 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 sure. Gotta love that sushi. Hey, uh, I know there's lag. You don't need to tell me a million times. <laughs> okay, I think I'm on my la No, one more stitch here. All right, now I'm on my last round of, of actively crocheting uh, this Yeti pattern. I mean, I'm gonna have to do a, oh, hey, what kind? Um, what kind, what color of, uh, of coffee cup should we make for him? Anybody got any suggestions? We need a coffee cup, so. Let me know if you have any ideas for, for what color coffee cup. <laughs> this guy takes a lot of stuffing. Like a surprising amount. I'm trying to get it into all the little crevasses. What crevasses? Hey, uh, thank you guys so much for sticking around through this whole live stream, by the way. Uh, we are coming on three hours right now, and um, that is wild. Hmm? Oh, do you want, do you want to say hi? Okay. Hi from afar. Hi from afar, Jules says. Hi from afar. She said it's not, it's not her fault. The lag is not her fault. I believe it. I believe it. Sometimes it just happens. We're lucky it's not too bad of a lag. One more decrease. Should do it. There we go. Cut the yarn. Let's stuff them up just a little bit longer. New day crochet done. There will be yarn. <laughs> I like that name actually. Um, hello, welcome. Yeah, you're a little late, but that's okay. You can always rewatch. Look at how much stuffing this guy's taking. Stuff, 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 stuff. That's probably good. I want to make sure he can, like, kind of sit up a little bit on his own without even his legs. Yeah, that'll work. Because sometimes I get worried about him, like, sitting up. Uh, which is why, actually, a lot of the goblinoids I actually stuff with a nickel. I put a nickel in their bums. And the reason is because it just adds that little bit of weight that you can that helps uh, keep it uh, upright. Three. Four. Five. 
One more. Six, and then pull that puppy tight. Right back down. There we go. All right, let's sew on these legs and then get them a coffee cup. What color coffee cup? Let's see. What did people say for colors of coffee cup? Pink, yellow, yellow like snow. Purple, green. Purple would be cute. Pink, pink, pink. Magenta. Hmm. Okay. Let's sew on these legs and then we'll make a decision. Thank you, Jia Zan Yong. I think I said that right. Jia Zan? Jia Xuan? Uh, hopefully that was close. Am I going to name him after the person who requested the Yeti? You know what? That's a great idea, Kim. That's a very good idea. Yes, this Yeti is going to be named Tom. Even though, his, even though it's Yancey the Yeti, this is going to be Tom the Yeti this time. And he actually didn't request a Yeti. He just said that he really likes the Yetis. He didn't make any requests at all. Maybe that's one of the reasons why I did it. Because I just... It was such a wholesome email. And I just appreciated it so much. Yancey's a weeble. He wobbles, but he don't fall down. Alright. We got a leg here. I love how tiny the little feet are. I, I could do the feet at the bottom too, make them standing. But I, I always like to make him sitting. I need this one, though. What a crazy song this is. This is Christmas song? Or winter song? I don't see how that's true, but okay. I'll believe you, internet. Okay, we'll use the long one. The short end doesn't want to work with us, so we're going to use the long end. <laughs> Thanks, Amelia. Let me move this chair a little closer. I'm starting to hurt my back. Ooh, what a nice little low crack I just did. Oops. <clears throat> Okay, so we're gonna go there. Let's see, we need to figure out where we're gonna start this sewing on, being sewn on. Because I want him like this, you know? So he's just got like, just he's barely sitting up. So we're just gonna kind of hold him in place as I go. I think we'll start here to here. But will that be too close together? No, no, that should be good. Good night, holy snail. Pasta la pizza, thanks for watching, thanks for joining. I think we need to do a count here. Let's pull this one through and then I'll count. Let's count our stitches here. So we got Seven, eight, nine, and then ten in our last spot. And then on a piece, we got one, so one, two, one, let's say one. Hmm. Let 
I mean, that'll be one right there. This one's kind of a puzzle, huh? Because I don't want it to go... I really don't want it to go to that metal one, because then the feet are going to be so close together. I think we're going to have to go one stitch up, actually. To undo what we did. Go higher up on the body. So that we can make all the stitches work, because it seems like i got too many stitches here. I think this might help, though. Because I don't want the feet to be too close together, you know? Welcome back, Maya. We'll go down like that. So I'm kind of sewing the leg on in like a triangle a little bit. Like, it's going to be like this sewn onto the body. So that the top and then it's like a little bit fatter on the bottom. We'll see how that works out. I mean, it looks good so far. The hard part's going to be mimicking it on the other side. That's going to be kind of tricky. So how many more do I have to go? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, one, two. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that should work. This should work. Okay, before I go too much further, let's add a little bit of stuffing into the feet. And again, if you haven't uh, joined yet, you should really consider joining our brand new Discord channel. I made it last night. Literally, it's not even a day old yet. So if you'd like to join, uh, that's where we're going to just be. You can chat with me outside of these live streams and just other people from the website and other people that have similar love of crochet. Gosh, this part's hard because it's like, yeah, it's hard because you can't see where any of the stitches are because everything's so fuzzy. One leg gone. One legoom. Could you take a video of the roof birds to keep you up? I know stranger. <laughs> if I end up going up there again tomorrow morning, I'll try to take a video for you. And I'll put, I'll just do it. If I do a video, so heads up, uh, Nitty, if I do a video, I'll do it on a story on either Facebook or Instagram. So you can um, go to uh, Club Crochet's Facebook or Instagram page, and I'll do it as a story. So it'll only be up, be up for a day, but. That's where it'll be if I do that. If I remember, usually it's early. It's like 7 a.m. for me, which is super early because I don't go back to, um, I don't go to sleep usually till like 3 or 4 a.m. So 7 a.m. is like crazy early for me. But if I do, so, so all I'm saying is I might forget. <laughs> I'll try not to, though. Brooke, goodbye, Postula la pizza. Thank you so much for joining us today and to crochet along with me.
Oh, he's looking good. Okay, how many more stitches do I got on the legs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one, two. So like this. Count again. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, one, two. Hmm. Okay. Da. Still streaming D and D maps. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's a long one today. It is a long stream today. So we're making Yancey the Yeti. It's just a long one. Okay, so we got one, two, three. Like that. You ready to say hi now? Ready to say hi now. Jules is here to say hi. Christmas music? Uh huh. Oh, that's cute. It's, it's Nintendo. Hi. Oh, wait, there's the camera. Hi, everybody. Here, wait, here, we'll just do that. Oh, okay, but that's the camera. Yes, that's Hello. the camera. <laughs> I, wa I wanted to come and say hi and also to show that I finished uh, a hat um, that's going to be a gift for my niece for Christmas. Oh, cute. I hope you're all crafting things for your loved ones or yourselves. That's totally fine. I'm making a sweater for myself right now. How's the Yeti coming along? He's coming. Here, let me switch back to the hands. Sure. Quick. Boom. He's coming along. Uh, <clears throat> just a few more pieces to sew. Or I just need to finish sewing on the legs, and then I'm going to make a coffee cup. People are suggesting colors for the coffee cup. A lot of pink, a lot of purple. What do you Ooh, think? Ooh, I'm leaning pink because of the little pink under their eyes. Yeah, that's what. That's exactly what people are saying. But if you are going to do purple, go a very dark royal purple. I mean, techni contrast. technically, that purple, that is, Hi. That, that is purple in the cheek, so it's like a lavender. Right. So, so, like, go really, really dark like that octopus you got over there. It's a good dark royal purple. Yeah. Something like that, if you're going to go that way. Hi, everybody. <laughs> um, got a name for him yet? Or her? Um, yeah, we're going to name him Tom after the guy that inspired the live stream. The guy that, with oh, the, the email. Yeah. 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 Also, Tom is, is my dad's name, so I'm, I'm a sucker for Tom's. <laughs> <laughs> have a positive connotation with Tom. That's true. <laughs> well, Tom. This is awesome. Oh, thanks, Kim, for the podcast, love. I appreciate that. Oh, hi, everybody. Look at all these people. I know. It's been such a nice, chill stream today. I, I really, great. yeah. I knew it was going to be a long one. I was kind of dreading the, the idea of just how long this live stream was. His back was hurting yesterday. Yeah. My, I mean, my neck still kind of hurts, but it's not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. But okay. like just the, just the kindness of the live stream has really like, made me not care at all. Oh, <laughs> like, thanks everyone for you know? boosting his mood. He was really sad yesterday from this morning. Did you hear that <laughs> neck crack? I heard that. Um, cool. I hate it when you do that. <laughs> I feel like you're breaking. Something. So I'm thinking this purple. To match mm. the thing, but you think we should do dark purple? Dark purple would be good too. Do you have any dark? Can I grab yeah. one? Uh, yeah, grab one. It should be in there. Um, it might be out in the. No, I got, I got oh, you want dark purple? Dark. It's up that to you. That is very dark. But that's that's my opinion. I mean, it'd be good. It'd up be to good. You. Up to the streamers, the the folks in the audience. Oh yeah, let's do this dark purple. Let's go. Just make it. Awesome. Go, go ahead and really get in. Go and get in. Oh that back oh. Massage. Yeah. Back scratch or back rub? Back rub. Oh, Jules is Jules is terrible rubs. at back rubs, but uh, I still want it. It feels wow. good. Wow. I come in to say hi. And all I get, and I get is she gets a back sucked rub into back rub. rubs. <laughs> oh, it's great though. It's great. Is it? You just said I was bad at this. It's great because <laughs> I needed it. Ne needed. Yeah, needed. <laughs> Hobby crochet says the cute. Yeah, we're cute and stuff. What Jewel says goes. That yeah, is it's true. It's true. It's very true. Facts. But you know who actually has final say in this house? Jimbo. Yes. Our cat. He goes. I want to lay here. 
I want to crawl on the table while you're doing stuff on the table. And you're like, no. And lie down on top of your food. Is this your food? That's funny. I thought this was a this was a seat. <laughs> it's a seat now. He loves that box that you left in the hallway, by the way. If oh, you've been man. hearing weird noises of like scratching or paper shuffling, it's Jimbo. The only weird noises they've been hearing is lag. Oh. Every now and then. It's not my fault, I swear. No, I don't blame you. It's not my fault. I don't blame you. All right, that's all you get. I appreciated that a lot. Hi, though. bye, everybody. Thank we'll you very you much. Week. I'll be out in just a bit. Almost done. So now we're making our coffee cup. And I'm wondering if I should make it bigger. I think this is pretty good. I'm gonna do um I'm gonna do the pattern a little bit different than I did on the um in the written pattern of for the coffee cup because I have an idea for something. I do this in my uh, box pattern. I did like this really cool way to make it like go straight up that I think is gonna be useful for this too. I think that's big enough for the coffee cup too. So we're gonna go, we're gonna give it a shot. So I slip stitch one, I chain one, and then I work into the back loop only and back loop on a previous stitch. Oh man, do I remember this song. Boom, 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 boom. Shazia, well welcome. A little late, but better late than never. Thanks for joining. And we'll see how this works for this coffee cup. Experimentation is the name of the game. See how it makes it go like really 90 degrees? Human, ban ban human banana, <laughs> what a great name. Human banana asks, uh, what is my favorite thing to crochet? Uh, my favorite thing right now is probably burbs. I really like making the burbs. But I think my favorite thing to crochet in all of all time are orcs. I don't know why. I just love crocheting orcs. Such a weird thing, I know, but I can't deny it. I love to crochet orcs. Orcs. There we go. See how it like really just turns it up like that? I like that a lot. It like, it's just this new thing I've been doing. Pretty cool. Hey, thanks human banana. Denmark, oh it's one. Oh wait, let's see how many people have gotten the Luigi right. Oh, I just said it. I just said it. Ignore that. Ignore what I said. I didn't say anything. I didn't say nothing. I guess it's, I guess since I dropped the ball, it's time to open this box. What a goofball. I wish I could like mute me real quick. Such a goof. Did anybody catch that? No one caught it. Good. We're good. No one caught it. No one caught what I said. Ain't nothing. Oh no, no. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Louie! Oh, I'm such a doofus. What a doofus I am. Let me finish this coffee cup and then I'll open the box and wonder what it'll be. But still, only one person got it right. And 86 people guessed, which is crazy. Yeah, see, that was a good hint, right, Aquatic Luna? 
This yarn is tangling. Tingly tingling. Look at this. Oh my god, what a mess. What a mess. There we go. Hold it up. Let it untangle itself. All right. Wow, text messages going out the roof here. I need to mute that. How do I turn off my notifications on this? There we go. Do not disturb, please. I bet you hear all those dings. It's my it's my neighbor texting us about something. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. What is my favorite verb to make? The pigeon, of course. Well, actually, the owl is pretty fun to make. I need to make more owls. Or the hummingbird? I don't know. That's a hard question. That's a really hard question. So I also learned a new way to do this coffee cup, uh, to do the the um, the handle of the coffee cup, which we are gonna make right now, I think. Yeah, because I only want a few more rounds up. So the the new way I found to do the coffee cup that's a little bit easier is um, we're going to try just doing a slip stitch first. But you do the coffee cup by chaining like this. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do seven, six, seven. How, how much does this do I say on this? Yeah, seven. Okay, so seven. And then I'm going to go down to the bottom here and actually go in and out of part of this body part. So in the written pattern, I wrote it so that you can like make the coffee cup separate and then sew it together. But I found that you can actually just do it at the same time like this. Around this way. One. We'll see how it goes though. It might it might end up messy. Two. Three. Five, six, and seven. And then I just keep crocheting in the body part. And see, look, I didn't even have to sew anything on it. I could just make the coffee cup in one fell swoop. Pretty cool, I thought. How long did it take to make Audrey 2? Um, probably like a couple days honestly because it was like a lot of different pieces that I had to figure out I could probably make it again in like probably three hours or so two or three hours it's the sewing together that's the problem because as you can see there's just a lot of pieces that you need to sew together so that's kind of the difficult part All right, so I just need to do a couple more here. One, and then let's just do two. And then I'll slip stitch in this last one right here. Got a little fuzz that's annoying me. Let me cut the yarn, um, pull it through. Now, normally I don't really like to, um, well, I, I we gotta add coffee into the cup. Now you can just like crochet like a little round circle to put in there, but uh, I kind of think it looks cool if you just let loose yarn sit in there, like it's just it's just like sitting in that. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's a lot easier too. There we go. I'm just hiding the end all the way down. And I don't usually like sewing the coffee cup onto the body just because it's, it's, um, 
you know, I, I don't know if I want to keep it on there or not. So I'm not going to sew it on. Uh, I need some brown yarn, though. So one second. Let's get some brown. Oh, here's some brown. <clears throat> I had it right here. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut, like, that much of it. And I'm just going to wind it up and just stuff it in there. Thank you, Shazia. And then I'll just put it, stuff that yarn in there to give him some coffee. And then the last thing that you want to do before I pin it to his hand is that we want to add stuffing to it. Now, this is kind of a fun way to do this. I, I think it's kind of cool. Is you take some stuffing like this and you just roll it in your hand to make it like kind of, well, that was too much stuffing. Let's do this much stuffing. Roll it in your hand to make it kind of like this. And then you can thread the end, just barely. You can thread the end on your needle if you twist it enough like that. And then what you can do is you go through the bottom of the coffee cup and you come out the top. You just pull that stuffing through like that. Pull it up, pull it up, come on. I might have to do this again. Yeah, I gotta do it again. Let me try it again. Let's make it a little longer. Like that. Now let's twist it. There. And this is gonna make the steam of the coffee. Go to the bottom, go to the top. Like that is what we're looking for. And you just, I just like to pull it out a little bit. A lot of steam though. Take them off. And then the bottom bit that's sticking out, we can actually just cut it. Like that. You pull it out just a little bit and it'll pull through the middle. And it's fragile, so you gotta be careful. You can't like pull this coffee, the stuffing out too much. But it's a cool way to add a little steam to the coffee like that. And now the last thing we wanna do is we wanna pin it onto his hand. Um, oh, I have a pin right here actually somewhere. I was messing with it. Here's that pin. It was in the head of a dwarf. <laughs> that sounds funny, but it was. Oh, here, it's right here. So I'm just gonna take this pin. See, look, it was in the head of a dwarf. We're just gonna go on the inside here. Push the pin out. Now, if you are making this for a kid, like, or something, don't do do not do the stuffing and don't do the pin. Just sew the coffee cup on or don't sew the coffee cup on, it's up to you. And then we're just gonna put that in his hand like that. And we have Yancey the Yeti is complete. What do you think? I hope you like this, Tom. And now I get to show you what's in the box. What's in the box? I did give it away, I did give it away, but that's okay, and I'm not even gonna untie it. I'm just gonna pull this off so I can close it again later. But in the box, yes, that is right, Luigi. Who guessed Luigi? Okay, so here's here is the hints again, so you can see where I was going with the hints. First off, I said that it's in the box, but it's a little taller. I had to get a taller box because he's a little bit taller of a pod person. He can be a finger puppet, but he's not a finger puppet. You use this color blue in the pattern. You also use a small amount of yellow in the pattern. Nose was a big hint because he's got a big old snoz on it. I actually said Luigi earlier in the podcast. Remember when I said, oh, I actually said it. It's because I was talking about Smash Brothers and how I got my butt kicked by a Luigi player. I said Luigi. And actually when I said Luigi, I paused and I looked at the camera. If you go back, you'll see it. I'll pause and look at the camera. Um, what other hints? Uh, from a video game, uh, he's cowardly, he's afraid of Boo, and he's always cowardly. That's like a huge part of him. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for all guessing and stuff like that. Uh, the winner, uh, there was one person that got it right, I think in all of it. Yeah. Oh no, two people, two people guessed it, but, but one people got, one person got it right first. Um, and then someone got it right after that. So the person that got it 
uh, right first, I'm going to give you a free bundle of patterns uh, of your dis choice. You can choose your top five. Uh, I won't say who, what your name is on here because you didn't put your name right in the um, in the thing. So, yeah. And, uh, ooh, there we go. And I will uh, send you an email about that after this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hey, Tom. Oh, Tom, you're in the comments. Yes. Uh, Tom. Thank you so much for your wonderful email. It meant, it clearly meant a lot to me, uh, and I hope you liked this live stream. I really appreciated it. It really upped my mood for the entire week. Um, so thank you. And for everybody that helped support this live stream today, uh, this was by far the largest amount of support that I've ever gotten on a live stream. So I want you to know. Um, let's go back to the face. Let's get real. Perfect song for realness right now, too. I want you to know, I truly appreciate you so much. Um, you guys have gone above and beyond today, and uh, you just you mean the world to me. And I just want you to know that I thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for being part of this community and supporting me and getting me every step of the way closer to making this my full-time job. Uh, so, yeah, thank you so much for joining. Thanks for joining this live stream. Thanks for watching this. Uh, Aquatic Luna, thanks for the additional dollar. <laughs> You're silly. Um, yeah, my back doesn't isn't hurting. Uh, probably because you guys kept my spirits up the whole time and pushed past the pain. Um, you guys have a great evening. Thanks again, Tom. Thanks again. Oops. There we go. Thanks again to, um, to Kim for the $100 donation. Oh, my gosh. And thanks so much to Lizzie. Lizzie did an $88 donation. Thank you so much. Ellie, an additional $5. Thank you. Um... Wow. Make sure to like the video if you haven't already. That would be uh, very helpful. And just just in general, thank you so much for your support. Um, this guy's name is is Tom. Uh, this this Yeti's name is Tom uh, for, for Tom who helped inspire this live stream. So thank you. Also, if you haven't yet, join the Discord channel. Um, there is... Uh, uh, Mel Bell has been posting a bunch of links to it. We have a brand new Discord channel where we're going to be talking with everybody. Um, uh, that I'll be I'll be joining it every now and then. Uh, there's a promotion channel in there, so make sure to check out other people's Instagrams and stuff. Um, and uh, you can post what you've made. We'll be talking about games. I was thinking it might be fun to do a um, a video game, uh, like a like maybe we all play Mario Kart or something, or or we'll just do a Mario Kart game or something. I don't know. It could be fun. But um, but yes. Kim, Kim, I just saw an additional $5 from Kim. Would you knock it off, man? <laughs> Kim, thank you. Kim, Kim, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Enough uh, of me procrastinating. I always procrastinate at the end because I don't want to say goodbye. I have a hard time saying goodbye. Um, but I'll see you next Sunday. We're going to be probably doing a movie night next Sunday. Uh, I'll do the vote on the YouTube community channel, but I will put in um, uh, probably in the Discord channel. I'll let you know if the vote goes live, and I'll let you know in um, if you're a uh, if you're following on Facebook or Instagram. I'll, I'll post something there too. But we need to we'll have a vote on what we want to do for the next um, for the movie night. I think I'll just keep the movie night next Sunday at 1 p.m. I think that's probably a good time. Um, we'll do a Christmas movie night. And, uh, yeah. If you haven't yet, sign up for a... If you want to sign up for the Club Crochet Kits, um, we do international kits now, too. So if you want to sign up for it and you are not in the continental United States, you you absolutely can. Uh, and this now is the last chance. Um, do it today. If you, if you sign up for a pro kit, you'll get a kit mailed to your door with all the materials to make what we're making this month, which is a gift box and uh, stuff to make something inside the gift box. So it's kind of fun. Uh, sign up for a pro membership. Uh, you have now to sign up. You have till now. So sign up ASAP. You can learn more at just going to clubcrochet.com. Um, okay, enough from me.
Pasta La Pizza. Happy hooking. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye.